Hmm. Okay. What's up, everyone? Hello. Happy Fourth of July, my my American brethren. If you're if you're not at a barbecue or getting ready to watch fireworks tonight, uh, I figured I'd you know spend some time with you because I'm full of steak and potatoes and y'all American pie, so why not? I got enough patriotism all for you right here. Two games in particular, and I will. I, I, so excited! Oh wow, hmm, I like I like the, the enthusiasm. Uh, two games I have ready tonight, with a third potentially if you know something goes wrong with those. Though the first two are the only ones that really count as the Patriot games. But uh one of them's old. Actually they're both old as fuck, now that I think about it. I jinxed the weather today, it's hot as fuck. How did I jinx the weather? By saying it wasn't so bad the past two days? Come on now. Let's stop with the magical thinking. M magic ain't got nothing on Merka. Duke Nukem, no. But close. <laughs> Weirdly close. summer it's supposed to be hot doesn't mean you have to enjoy it sometimes unless you're like at a beach or a pool you know summer i mean hot ain't that great when you're just like sitting inside and it's like your shirt sticking to your your chest uh, don't worry the text is temporary on screen i just didn't want to like have the game going before i even got started close like i said we might not even get to that one that's only if i need to like the, if something goes wrong with one of the other two raining i god i wish we had rain right now <laughs> That's a really shitty thing to say on 4th of July, but I kind of do. All I want is winter. I'm more of a fall man myself. Metal Gear? No, not, no no Metal Gear. These are, these are far better options for a Mar Merc games. Just want to say hi to chat. I'm out running errands, but should be back in an hour. We'll see you then, Kairos. That's so why I stay indoors. You'd be an anime expo right now if it weren't still in a pandemic. Mm, I mean, well, yeah. I keep forgetting, like, where I live, like, everyone's vaccinated, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Is it Metal Wolf Chaos? Because Summer Games Done Quick is doing that in an hour? I mean, could be. Who knows? It very well might be one of the two. Just say it. But it's definitely not going to be the first one. Well, I mean, I'm only, this isn't a research stream, so only, only a Discord announcement for the day. What's up? Carebones, how you doing? So, I imagine, I imagine it will be too many people watching tonight due to just because, you know, holiday. Uh, we should get things going. That's, that's, that's some funky... Hmm. You lost your mood? Don't worry, there, there's always another one. Precious slices, oh my god. I think he knows. Rogue Warrior? No. Hold on. I have to use uh, display capture with this game. game. I tried using game capture, it like chugs like ten, two frames per second. So, here we go. Let me get rid of this text on screen. You're going to see my desktop for a brief second, but don't worry about it. Nothing there that'll ruin your fun. First game chat it's Freedom Fighters. Oh shit, I messed up. Turn on turn off game capture. Otherwise I can't use the mouse. Uh some of you, most of you are like the fuck? What's 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 Freedom Fighters? Well it's actually made by the same team that makes Hitman. And it was like in uh at least on like PS2. I played like a demo of it on PS2 back you know on the PS2. And I remember liking it, but I never actually played the entire game. Do I have a Patreon? No. If you really got a five dollars burning a hole in your pocket, you can sub to me here. But uh, no, no Patreon. I don't really like you begging people for money. Oh, a game for patriots. Yes, very patriotic. You have Desert Storm too. Go all. No, I do not have that one. Like I said, I played a demo of this game many years ago. And I remember liking it. However, it's it's really crusty now, probably. So, but they re-released this game on Steam not too long ago. 
And I figured, you know what? Maybe now's the time to check it out. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this game is about, it's you know, about the Soviet Union taking over, I think, like, 1960s America or something. This is a really shitty game menu, by the way. <laughs> like, next level bad. Uh, we'll just, I guess this is normal, easy, normal, hard, hardest, yeah. Rep, yeah. Uh, name, uh. Let's go with the, the douchey spelling of it. There we go. Red Dawn 60s edition? Uh, sort of. That is kind of the idea. Only instead of like the old Washington state or in the wilderness, you're in a city. Which is expensive. Like I said, you don't have to spend any money here. Don't worry about it. Did I see the fan-made Code Veronica remake? I just saw it. It's look, It looks really shitty. They still use the cutscenes from the game, and it's just like, here's some models from Resident Evil 2 that we threw together. I would not play that. Anyway, when I couldn't pinpoint the exact location of my humble summer cottage in the Hamptons, she dropped me right there. 30 people saw the main menu and bounced that quickly. Damn, I looked like an idiot still holding the drinks I'd been paying for. I didn't, I didn't see any like people leave. Well, who cares? You know, her loss. Hey, pop the clutch. Wolfenstein on the away. menu? No. I've already played through some, all the Wolfenstein today, stuff, bro. except for the original one, which I don't Let's like. See. Though now that Isabella I think about it, I could have played Wolfenstein Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Drain plug and leaky garbage disposal. Right, with a Maui or the do we have to get the crappiest route every Monday morning? Luigi. I wish for Luigi, come on. Fancy condo on the east side with a view. What game is this? Freedom oh, Fighters. Isabella Angel, whatever. Oh, his She's eye is bizarre looking. Babe for the warning against also, Solomon Signet, thank you for the sub. Yeah, 15 months. On TV yesterday. No idea. Well, these are as, these are Italian plumbers that you can get. He's even got the M on his head. Come on. What do you mean conspiracy crap? What? Doesn't the Soviet invasion of South America bother you? You need a reality check, bro. Know what? Next thing you know, you'll be waking up under a Russian flag, and you won't think it's conspiracy crap then. Mm. Right. Okay, I thought this was like going to be in the 1950s, You're but I think so this is like the 1980s denial. or something. Look, try listening to those warning against Judging by the way those cars look. Speaking of which, how about this first stop? I really like the freedom prize, many much freedom prize, with a French cut. Hello, Farmers on patrol. Do, do, do like plumbers normally just barge into your house yeah. is, if it's not a porno Ooh. like this? No wonder. Sister Sludge sure needs a drain surgeon here. There is one here. Freeze! Don't move, remain. Wow, that's. Citizen. Whoa, hey, stay cool. It was man. completely normal when they walked in, but in, in that time they got in the elevator and Where came up is here. Your girlfriend, Soviet invasion. Girlfriend? Hey, she's not me. I will ask again. Where? Is Isabella Angelina? Hmm? What, her? Look, I think, I mean, she's, look, she's not... See the seams of that man's face. <sighs> well, must break. Isabella cannot be far from here. Form the place to peace. I want to see a lawyer, buddy. Okay, this is clearly modern times. That's a laptop. I was thinking this is like old setting. But, uh, yeah, Hitman devs. Just fucking what? <laughs> Well, this, uh, this is, can we turn down sensitivity a little bit? Like, maybe about by half. Okay, that might be too slow. Nine? Mm, okay, we'll try that. What's a Russian gunship? What's a Russian gunship? Colonel, I'm a plumber. But uh, this was made by the Hitman devs. They never made another one. They only made this one. I guess they didn't sell very well. They went back. Let's just keep making Hitman games. But uh, wow, this is still a bit too fast. I wish there were an option to pull the camera back so I could see the rest of me. I feel like I'm like Little Joe and like. Mike Tyson's punch out. Let me try. Let's actually set it on five and see if that works.
Alright, that's less janky now. How many Hitman games are there? I don't know. Quite a few, actually. I got a wrench. Wow, every game these days, I just have a bonk weapon. So, yeah, I just want to point out, in between us getting on the elevator and coming up here, the Soviets invaded. Exclamation mark, huh? It is fortunate that you found me. Quickly, this way. But what? He's packing that revolver, huh? Them nine Hitman games. I, the the latest three could really count as just one game. Don't trouble us anymore. He has, yeah, he just had that gun on. Him. Hurry! We mustn't linger here. More soldiers. Shoot them. So, Lyles, thank you for the sub. I'm a brother. Clearly, you're not saving him. Manhattan is filed undercover CIA and Russian agent. You know, it's very easy to invade the United States, you know. I mean, there's only like an ocean either way you want to go, unless your name is Canada and Mexico, and then, you know. All the, you know, firearms we own. And all the military. But hey, in fiction Please, you can make sorry. it super easy. Move on now. Ready to get a gun off the dead Russian. Though it doesn't look like a Russian firearm. I think this is one of those squad games too. Like you get an entire squad. We are not as well oh, they've already placed the, the customary so red explosive fire. barrels of fuel for and reasons. Just invade the U.S. What's the worst that could happen? Well, <clears throat> the worst quagmire, military quagmire in history, is what can happen. But you know, we'll... fuck. Why'd that blow up? What is the problem? We must act now. And nearly kill me. All right. Use mouse will up, mouse will down. It's like the med kit. Good. You are ready for battle again. Characters perfectly fine. Marine dozens of people immediately. Yeah, we were just a, pl a plumber five minutes ago, and we're like thrown into the fight. Well, for for a PS2 game, it's scaling too bad. Soldiers are sure to find us here. We must find another hiding place. Ow. Maybe it would be pretty difficult to invade the U.S. in no all possible to... ways in from ports Follow or in me. close proximity to air and naval bases. Well, that's another reason. I said there's many reasons. You have oceans on either side, and you have like the U.S. Navy to contend with, which is like bigger than the rest of the world's navy put together. And then you have all the firearms that individual Americans own, and you just have the fact that the U.S. is a very big country. You have a help Take it. Save this man's life. Yo, that was close. But hey. I guess I owe you one. In terms of, just for What's fiction though, we always give everyone a okay, handicap, me, so we just forget I'm about all that, and so, you know, we can be invaded by the Chinese or the Russians. Everything is booming? Well, it is an invasion, and they don't seem to care about casualties. We must leave now! Japan can attack Alaska. They attack the Aleutian Islands, which are like the very tip end of Alaska. Please hurry! We must move on oh, now! We're just here. Like, this guy looks like he's already ready for the, the fight before they even began. He's like dressed up in that counter warfare shit. He was walking on the street when this occurred. He's like, yep, the day's here. I knew it was coming. Good thing I wore my combat fatigues today. And with my canteens and ammo pouches. <laughs> Molotov even. Where'd he get all that? Alright, use mouse wheel up mouse wheel down to suck the Molotov. Also, the fact we have a pretty strong gun Rose culture, babies. yeah, it would be a nightmare. He just vanished. Oh. I, I would not envy anyone who tried to do it. Whoops. Oh, you gotta hold it. Die, the uh, communist scum. They could have screamed for their lives, you know. Would have been satisfying.
Maybe I aimed a little too high. Better dead than... I'm just going to shoot him. It's a lot easier, I think. Hey, fanboy, thank you for your nine months. Woo, America. Godspeed, my American brother. Well, even if you're not an American, you're my you're American tonight. How about that? On a 4th of July, everybody's American if you love freedom. No time to waste. They'll be back if we don't hurry. If, give me more than two or three to shoot out at a time. Mark. Say it with me, chat. Wow, they've even got this shit already set up, huh? <laughs> They're like, backstory, lore. <laughs> What's that? Do they like airdrop all this in? This is, this is a lot of logistics that I need to know the answers behind. Sorry, the fifth in Europe? Well, you're, we're just going to rewind the clock for you so you can pretend it's the fourth. Uh, already the sewer level. With your wrench. We can escape to safety below in the sewer. That is not how a wrench or a manhole cover works. You, you need a like a, a tool, a special tools usually to get those open if they're like sealed shut and then or like a crowbar. Taking over the airwaves. Citizens of New York and comrades from the Soviet Armed Forces, welcome to our first news broadcast after today's events. My name is Tatiana Kempinski, and I will be your regular news anchor from now on. We hope in time to obtain the cooperation of most of your familiar TV personalities once they return from a re-education What is it about Russian female names that just always like, sound really hot? I will make sure is there like a, all just every single time here a Russian female name is always some like tough feeling though? Our peace and stability in your troubled country. Our Soviet leaders have been concerned for Little years comrades. by the plight of the poor American people suffering under a corrupt regime. Today, we have finally succeeded in liberating the suppressed masses of Americans. The, where did they attack from? They just magic themselves here. And restore law and order in a new rule of government. And they expect Natasha, that that's another that every one. citizen will swear allegiance to this new order. Cooperate and you will reap all the benefits of the Soviet system. All measure of resistance will be futile and dealt with swiftly. A great leader, Aren't Comrade Russian General Russian women just naturally Tatarin, hot, though? Well, the some of them are known for it. So on behalf of the dedicated but they're not staff genetic, the studio, they're no different than any other race. There's like, hey, Soviet some of them you know, are standouts. Welcome, New York, to a better future. Oh, America just offered no resistance, huh? Conquered in a day. Not even that, an afternoon. What's that done open? Feel more fair and balanced than Fox News? Uh, saying what we're all thinking. Oh, we already have... <laughs> it feels like some of this was already pre-prepared. Like, oh yeah, we have our underground base already made. Flaming barrel decorations and all. Oh, that's going to give us cancer. If it's flaming barrel decorations is the best we got. Wow, he's got an arsenal down here. You know what? It's believable. It's America, after all. There's bound to be some crazy guy out there, you know, supplying like this. This is our base. It's a safe zone. We store equipment here. With complete control of the sewer system, the tunnels enable us to bypass many of the Soviet roadblocks. All of our maps will indicate the location of the sewer access points. Let us go over to the table and take a look. This guy has just been like living his life waiting for this day to happen. You know, just, just just take a moment, let it all sink in. You, you mean got a spare? Anglo Zanzibar, where well, it lasted 26 minutes. Yeah, this is like, America went down like a bitch. I don't like this the insinuation. Where'd all those weapons go? There were just like a ton of them a second ago. Hey, hey, where'd those guns go, man? <laughs> All I see is like a basket of, you know, Molotovs. Was that like something you... I'm guessing like it, it advances you know, how this base looks as the game goes, and that was like something pre-recorded? Where it's like, oh, look at all the weapons, and now they're all gone. <laughs> it's an illusion. I admire your heart to still search for a glimpse of believability, huh? 
All right, Soviet domination, Brooklyn. I mean, we already have intel on where they're located, do we? All of Japan and Germany nukes did nothing. Yeah, nukes were not used at all in any of this. I guess they really got they. I, you know what? I don't expect them to explain much of anyhow. This is gonna make sense. But uh, I'd rather you'll go to the post office. The, the post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot. To like, what's the rest of the world doing while the Soviet Union invades the other the major world power? Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station. Me playing a game where the U.S. falls to Russia in a day. Well, the the goal is like bring it back. Fight. You're part of the resistance. Is this Red Dawn or something? It might as well be. It's just called Freedom Fighters. Enter location. Alright, sure. Uh, you wouldn't have got that load time on a, on a PS2. Merka. The, the other game we'll be playing soon is even more Merka. Yo, man. I gotta talk to you. Wanna blow that gas station? You're gonna need some explosives. You could find some in the other neighborhood. Hmm. Wanna blow that gas station? You're gonna need some explosives. You could find some in the other neighborhood. I'm wondering just how much of Hitman's DNA is gonna be in this game. Did you get the post-American, post the most American game? Uh, it is one of the more American games, yes. Like, I guess I don't get to disguise myself. Looked up the lore of this game. Apparently Russia conquered Canada and Mexico. You think America... Yeah, at, at, at that point, they should have been a little more prepared. It's like, oh, no, all those commies ain't gonna do anything after that. I mean, conquering even Canada and Mexico would be pretty difficult for Russia. They didn't exactly have much of a navy, except for, like, some submarines. Oh, finally. A gray AK-47. Russia can't conquer Canada. Can, you know, I mean, if they wouldn't, they'd have a rough time doing it. Russia, Russia is really only capable of usually launching attacks on like their neighbors. You know, a limitation of not having like a blue water navy. Hey, Dargan, have would you ever play Fallout One or Two? I've played Fallout Two, uh, and I liked it. I didn't beat it, but I did play it and enjoy it. I need to find explosives. Wouldn't an invasion like this wind up leaving themselves spread to then? Yeah, they've conquered all of North America at this point. I don't think they have that kind of capabilities. Anyone, no one does. That's a lot of territory. And you would think Europe would be their focus, since that one's like, all they have to do is like drive across the border there. Like, that's what the Soviet military is built to do, is like, you'll know, send massive waves of tank infantry, mechanized infantry across Europe if they, if they ever came to it. Irish tubes embargo June. <clears throat> Place all of New York City. I seem to remember there was another game I played. Was there, there was another game similar to this that came out around the same time? Only I think it was set the not it was sort of like a Wolfensteinish game, only in third person. And it was the Nazis invading America. And it, I remember the first level was like you in New York and like there's like giant zeppelins all over the place. Place C4. No, I don't have any. It had like a really cool first level, but I can't remember the name of it. How they mobilize and no one noticing? The America was just maybe we had like poor leadership this time. No, it wasn't Wolfenstein. I know that much. It sounds like it, but it wasn't. Red Dawn. It's not supposed to make sense. Well, this is technically not Red Dawn. This is called Freedom Fighters. Maybe they wanted to make a Red Dawn game and they just couldn't get the rights. No way, pal. No one gets by until Isabella is free. Okay. It's pretty. Yeah, I know. I know. It's pretty much clearly meant to be Red Dawn, but it's you know not by you know not legally. How many of you? I've. I've only, I think I briefly remember seeing Red Dawn on TV when I was a kid. I didn't like it though. I guess it's like I only like cartoons and games at the time. So I was like kind of bored with it. Plus, I didn't understand the idea of, like, the Soviet Union and the U.S. They're, like, really even war. And they're like, why, why, why are they attacking each other? <laughs> Copyright. It's legally distinct Red Dawn. That's, no, that's what we'll call it. Okay, I need to find C4 somewhere. I'm not having much luck. This kid said, next neighborhood over. 
think I need to like travel by sewers. We are literally a, a Mario then if we're just traveling by your sewer pipes. We'll try the other uh, manual cover. Dollar tree red. So there was a gate I could get through over there, but I didn't see it. Dex, you've already eaten today. You got two helpings of wet food. Okay, there's that, and then there's nothing through here. Mario, yeah, but... Yeah, but... Come on. Luigi's... This is Luigi, the year of Luigi all over again. Uh, another... I don't think I can do anything here. Uh, go to the police station, then. Secure the police station and liberate our leader, Isabella. Raise your flag to signal her release. Peach is the commie. Well, hey, she's royalty. He would actually be the first to be thrown down in a revolution. While we always final boss, he is a very greedy man. Wow. Damn, my fellow Americans. Rise up! It's only been a day! Are they already put up walls? No, I'm starting to think this, this Soviet Union is very efficient. Like, it's, it, we've only been, like, invaded for a day, and it's already looking like Warsaw. Dex, you don't get any more food. You've eaten. Please help. We're pinned down here. Hey, listen, buddy. Imagine what you can do with slave labor. Go well, I don't think they've had time for even that, though. Just go through the sewer you came from. What? what? Oh, the C I need the C4. So it is a little bit like up here. Wait, what are they shooting at? Oh, those guys. I need to go back now and... Oh, shit! <laughs> Ow. I guess snipers are no joke in this game. Okay, go get C4, take it back to the place, blow it up. They brought slaves with them from what, Canada or Mexico? I mean, it's hard enough to move your soldiers around during a war. You can't just let move a slave army in, do. Please help. We're pinned down here. All right, go back. Put C4 on gas station. What is this game? This is Freedom Fighters from the original came out on the PS2. But we're playing it today because, yo, freedom. Ducks, you got food in your dish and you're trying to push it in here to make it feel you give you more. No. Stop it. Are you seriously going to leave them to die? Well, I, they told me to, like, go blow something else up with that C4. Man, I'm just going right across the street, you know. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing. Plus, they're not being shot, they're just pinned down. See, they're actually, it's right, the, the, the guys, I think, are, are going to blow up, or right up there. So, we're, we flank them that easily. This is an altar in history. In this world, Russia already took over Europe. Hmm. And that'd be nice if they explained some of that, though. You know, that's going to be a very big explosion. We would... Way bigger than that. The loot. Russia doesn't have the population to conquer the entire world. Nope. But I'm guessing the idea is that they conscript uh, conquered people into their army. It's like, you will fight for us if you do not want to starve. Hmm? Does eating sound good to you, American? But your family. Chad, there's Chad Russia. Hmm. So what's the reason why nukes aren't used in this in this world then? I need to know that. That's kind of an important thing that you'll know, kept this entire kind of thing from happening. Why why are there no nukes being used in this world? About the only way you could explain that is if there's a world where nukes were never invented. It's 
not the like, oh, you know I'm used to like being all, like saddled up against a wall. Now we go back and help our police guys. You already posted. I didn't see that one. I didn't see it. Only Russia has nukes. So okay, there's a, this is a completely different world then. I'm guessing the U.S. never got involved with World War II then. Like we stayed out of that, and Russia ended up winning on their own. Location now, the police station. Secure the police station and liberate our leader. Is this is a wholesome, friendly U.S. isolationist? In, in fact, this is what could have happened, Chat. My cat is like decided to. My Dex is decided to drag her food dish all the way into my office and eat it in front of me, and then look up at me because she wants more. Thanks, friend. Nice to get rid of the snipers. Listen, if you're going to infiltrate the police station, I recommend you use the subway tunnel. Yes, because that clearly connects to the police station. <laughs> what about this? The oh, for wholesome, friendly U.S. people still know how to use guns. Well, that we still have the Second Amendment. I mean, that we had that before World War II even existed. That's an American right, goddammit. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Thank God, American subway sign. They're like, uh oh. Or nothing to be messed with. Why is the gun, the bullet, so off when I'm shooting? Well, he said use the subway, but that appears to be closed to me. Luigi really turned around after I left. Yeah, he, he gave up the fire flowers, switched to AK 47s. Any guns in this stuff? Oh, he probably meant this subway, didn't he? got rich he does own a mansion or two or i've heard so i've heard you know there's nothing worse than that ps2 era when the enemies could like you know crouch behind walls and duck out behind it to shoot and you couldn't oh yeah i already forgot about me good mario hog the power-ups never gave them luigi would spread the wealth what kind of subway is this Shit, I'm almost dead. The boy eat fresh. All that stuff is gone, chat. This is after America. The fall. We gotta bring it back. So, Mickey D's, we're, this one's for you. Are you using a BB gun? Uh, it does not feel very powerful. Ten million dollar reward. Wait, dollars? Why aren't we using your rubles? I, I thought that'd be like the first thing you do is you take control of the currency of any conquered people. At least Coca Cola. Is, well, no. Coca Cola is something like that. Oh. You're just. There? Okay. Enter the police station through the parking garage, but stay low, or the soldiers will spot you. Do I have a crouch button? Do I have a sneak at all? I do. Do it for Taco Bell. This is for every one of the chain restaurants that was taken away from us.
Though, the cops are putting up more fight than whatever army we had at the time, it seems. We deserved it, chat. We wouldn't stand up for ourselves. Weak. Any more damn Molotovs? Do. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's how you do it. Oh, the Chalupas. <laughs> Re remember what they took from you. Yeah, was that big dude we saw at the beginning of the game, like the leader of Russia, who just showed up in that apartment that day? The same, he came there with the first wave of the invasion. A very brave man to do that. Three crotch shots, good job. And only the worst for the Soviet scum. You know, you notice this is the era before we had good yo, animation, so it's like the same animation over and over again. How did New York get taken over so easily? Like the entire country fell in like an afternoon. Apparently, in this universe, the U.S. Was, remained isolationist, never got involved with World War II, and was still like really weak. And Russia became like the the world superpower instead after they defeated, I'm guessing, Germany. So the only thing, we apparently didn't even have a military from the sounds of it, because I've seen nothing but a few cops. Plus that New York has strict gun laws. <laughs> Maybe that in you know, part of it. Ow. But damn it, they, we got a plumber and he is a badass apparently. America picking up World War II and World War II and superpower in World War II. Uh, we weren't really a, a, a well. I, don't, I guess we might have been a world power after World War One, but we still re returned to isolationism after World War One was over. And we tried to remain out of World War II for a very long time. So it's really only after World War Two that uh, the America that we kind of like know in, in terms of foreign policy, anyways, you know, became what it is. That doesn't make your military weak. Not developing nuclear weapons that you'll act as a deterrent against a Soviet invasion, though. That that might do it. Give me that. Spanish American War was when we became a world power. That's definitely when we stepped up and like became you know, known that we okay we can. We, Europe is kind of like you're no longer the big deal. But it's really after World War II that we, you know, became the superpower, as they like to call us. Got him at a choke point. I wonder how if they got actual Russians to speak some of these enemy lines. I'm going to say they probably didn't. All right, never mind. I'll go up there. Apple pie made America too strong. We were we were made soft by our how, how good we had it. You want pie? I had pie earlier today, along with like a steak and potato dinner. That was my celebration. You know, steak and potatoes plus apple pie. What more can a man ask for? It was good. Every bit of it. You know, for a third person cover shooter, this ain't too shabby, despite being old. I'm gonna guess you playing this on a PS2 though would have made it a lot less enjoyable since you didn't have mouse luck. Hmm. 
American spending money will level themselves up faster. Hey, money is power. I mean, literally, it is. Capitalism, my friend. What a lot of people liked was the squad controls. Yeah, I haven't gotten to that part of the game. We're still doing it solo. We got to prove ourselves to be a commander, I guess. Classic American dinner. Well, yeah. I mean, what better day to eat it than no? Well, plus my boiled potatoes are really freaking good. You get those uh, royal gold potatoes, they're like bite-sized potatoes. You like boil those in water for like 40 minutes and season the water too with salt and garlic powder. Take them out, chop them in half. They're really soft. Then like toss them in your know, garlic butter. You you got a good side dish to go with your steak. Can I get the shotgun, please? Oh, oh, swap weapons. Uh. Forty minutes. It ha it has been. Thank you for noting the time. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, 135 from Wish You Were Beer. Here you go, some rubles. Happy 4th of July from Mother Russia. Oh, thank you, uh, yo, uh, comrade. I'm pretty sure you probably say something else to re yo, refer to friends these days, but hey. Thank you for the, for the, the rubles. Hope you're having a good day, too. What game is this? This is Freedom Fighters. Oh. Oh, shit. They're getting very aggressive. Oh, this shotgun is pretty terrible. Damn, that should have been 99 Rupal. I think it automatically converts it. Don't worry about it. Did I give up my AK before? I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, this shotgun kind of blows, so I'm going to get my pistol back. Damn, girl. No wonder people are joining the revolution. You know, I bet revolutions only succeed if they have a really hot smoking leader. Fight for the cause, chat. Oh wait, I'm gonna do the do the thing. And, well, we won. They can't ever take this post office again because we put our flag over it. Excellent work demolishing the fuel station. We're able to move around at our leisure now that the snipers are gone. It looks like she needs a, mas a massage, though. She looks really scrunched up right now. You know that, know that thing where you do when you're like really cold and you like scrunch your head down into your shoulder sockets almost? And ring, ra raise your shoulders up? Like your entire body goes tense just to like make yourself a little bit warmer? That's, looks, that's what she's doing right now. Like... And well, it's because she doesn't have anything but a tank top on too. And she's in a sewer. Do you have any lines? I thought you were going to be important. Back pain and the back pain. That too. All right. I guess we take the post office now. The post office is a Mail is important, Jet. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother's being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the for the hot smoking power. babes. That sounds like Duke Nukem. Yeah, something Duke Nukem would say. You'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. No food or Follow water. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Plenty of them. Yeah, we we don't really have much supplies down there for keeping a, a, a rebel group, you know, going. It's like, hey, 
Do we have some cans of soup, maybe? Nope, we got flags. That's enough uh, you know, for any red-blooded American to survive on. What's up, Bunny? How you doing? Isabella, you're back! Yes, and I owe it all to this man. Hey, you must be Chris. Come on in. Oh, you, you mean you knew me? <laughs> This is only a temporary base. We're using it as a staging place for this mission. Let's plan our next move. Like it or not, you have a new profession now. The freedom fighter. Nice work. Oh, they already said the name of the game off. Huh? I like being a plumber. Hey Rob, how you doing as well? Welcome, welcome my my American brethren. I think we're getting our squad now. Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. You can see them unloading equipment. They're using this post office as a temporary command center and planning further advances into the city from here. I think they saw us. It would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. They're aiming right at me. You proved yourself by rescuing me. People are starting to believe in you. Two circles above show that you are at charisma level two. This means that two freedom fighters will join you. The good, solid men. Follow me. Right, let's roll. Come on. Follow me. Yes, sir. I'm ready. As long as they are recruited, these guys will follow you wherever you go, just like bodyguards. Now go fight. Good luck. I mean, we have a sniping position here. I mean, well, actually, they won't let me pull out a gun right now. Damn it, woman, you gave away our position by being too hot. Remember, you are the leader. You can issue your men commands. Order them to attack that small patrol up ahead. Pre press and hold 2 in order to tell your freedom fighters to attack an enemy. 2, it's a weird button. All right, I will be up here commanding you from down below. This is an important vantage point. Gives you an overview of the battlefield, useful for strategic maneuvers. From here, you can command your troops and cover Eliminate. them at the same time. Good. Your men will fight every enemy in the direction you're pointing them. Press 1 to order a squad member to return you. Hold it, and the entire squad will return. Attack, all of you. What the hell is this game? This is Freedom Fighters. It's like a, a very patriotic America game where the Soviet Union has invaded and taken over the U.S. And I figured, you know what? I want to play something patriotic today. So this is one of the games we're playing tonight. We also got another one lined up. Bring it on! You know, I should probably go down and help my two guys. I, my, I can't shoot shit at a distance. I'll, I'll perform a flanking maneuver. I have you an infilade. Well, technically I'm not in cover myself, so it is an infilade, but you get the idea. Give me a report. Pinpointing the exact location of Take your freedom tail. fighters can be very useful for advanced strategy. Oh, they're not in the way of my Molotov. Oh shit, get out of there, man. Well, never mind. You're doing a god's work, son. Keep it up. I feel like you're watching someone play Fire Emblem if it was third-person shooter. It is. Maybe that is what it's... Well, that's turn-based, isn't it? But you do command a squad. But it's pretty basic commands, I believe. I don't think it's anything too complex. Okay, they weren't American cars anymore. Uh. Abort, everybody! Great, you're a true leader. No, oh, sometimes it's important to know when to fall back. Hmm. I 
How about a leader have be given information on where to go? Very tight alley for cars to drive through. Yeah, I don't really see this as a place cars are going to park. But then again, you can't really... When it comes to PS2 games, I give them a lot of yo know, leeway for how they design anything because they had some limitations they had to work with. Hey, mister. You gotta help yeah. me. I've been yeah. shot. I mean, you had two health hey, packs mister. feet away I'm from you. And you didn't use those? Up. The post office, yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. But hey, we'd uh, you'll raise our charisma. What game am I playing right now? I'm playing uh, Freedom Fighters. I got another game I'm going to play after this. But two all-American games tonight. Just for you, chat. Also, good news, I, fin <coughs> I finished my rough draft of Ratchet and Clank today, so I'm ahead of schedule. So, thankfully, this one will be releasing on time and won't take me three weeks like it has been taking me so long this year. I've been trying to, like, get back to normal, so it's, like, only a video every two weeks, and it's looking good this time. Very happy Remember with that. Remember to check the map once in a while. The map? Alright, we're near the On one. the map, you can see the mission objectives. It's Can't easy wait. to get lost, so use the map to find your targets. Just so happens it was a very easy one to sin, too. Wasn't something that took me 50 to 60 hours to play through. And all, amongst other things. Attack, boys. God, they just stick their fuel cans everywhere here, don't they? Oh, did I lose a dude? Or do you like move? Yes, Your buddy with the PS5 can't wait for that vid. I'm looking forward to it as well, of course. Oh, well, I will do my best to make it you know, enjoyable for everyone. I have some lines in it I'm pretty proud. Fuck, everything just blows up now in Soviet America. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to get a PS5 and I can send some more PS5 games. Not that there's really anything to send at the moment. But eventually there will be. Uh, I haven't seen anything from Miyoku in a while in chat, so I don't think he's going to be coming back to sell me that PS5, so... By the end of the year, I might have to give in and finally just pay the scalper's fee for one. But I'll hold out until then. Thankfully, though, the next, like, PS5 exclusive game is also going to be coming to PC on the Epic Game Store, which is that you'll, uh... Uh... The... What's the name of that game? I mentioned not too long ago. Yo, Kenya Bridge of Spirits. Hold fast. Well, at some point I need to have one so I can like play the you'll know, make videos on the games that'll be exclusive to it. Because unlike Sony, they're not releasing them on the same day on PC. What is this music playing? You're gonna send Halo Infinite? That's well, yo, that that one I, I can play on PC. When it comes to Xbox stuff. Uh, I can play that on PC, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing Halo Infinite. I'm actually thinking of sending Halo 4 and 5 this year before that, actually. I didn't play Halo 5, and I feel like it might tie into it. Hey, bro. Oh, shit. It's our brother. I thought that was going to be a plot thing where we take forever to find him. Mario! Did he just run right past all the dudes? Reds weren't ready for circle striving. Raise it high. Doesn't Nintendo maintain that Mario is an Italian, by the way? Isn't that something they still say? He's like, no, he's Japanese. Oh, my favorite news program. Food coupons may be redeemed. This is Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. In today's headlines, 
A downtown precinct was attacked by rebels earlier today. The attackers freed several rebel detainees. There are reports of many casualties. Several witnesses confirmed that the raid was carried out by a small group of armed rebels, headed by an individual who authorities believe to be the new leader Citizens of the Citizens possessing resistance. an American flag will be arrested, Isabella what? Isabella Angelini, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned like and shot the cameraman. rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be Ever a thinking of playing the old Assassin's Creed, like two, I actually played through two, like, the other today, year. I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on and the situation. eventually I'll make a sim video on it. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. Doesn't that guy look Such like that Giga Chad created. meme guy? However, I assure you... That yeah, that's the Giga Chad guy. Peace He's almost like a perfect representation of Giga Chad. On the phone now from Governor's Island is Comrade Colonel Boba, head of KGB. They use nukes on, on, the, on the West Coast? These mm. people are not rebels from proletariat. This Have I played this before? No. Phantom is vigilante, a terrorist. But they are few and will be executed when caught. After a trial, of course. And on this reassuring note, let's look at the forecast. What's in store for us on weather front tomorrow, comrade Ilyana? I want to hear the weather. Important. Radioactive fallout in Montana. Maybe that's what produces people like the Giga Chad. You know, nuclear warfare might so bad not be so bad if you turn out like that. Can we get like a, a boat with a motor, please, instead of this this you know, raft? The garbage, you'll good ship garbage hall. Second hot Russian newscaster, and we'll get to see her. Sucks. Yeah, I know. Only the pretty people get to be on TV. See, look at all that weapons we got there. Now they're no longer there. It's a magic trick. The weather lady is always the hottest one, too, isn't she? Waffle. Ooh. Oh. Perfect. Ah, uh, nothing like stick sliding a bullet into a well-greased chamber. Wait, oh, wait, we got like, oh, we set up camp. I mean, are we? We're not drinking this water, are we? Shotgun kind of blows. Yeehaw, comrades! So, my brother, Chris. For three months, the Soviets have been pouring soldiers and equipment into the city. We have to plan every move very carefully. The people need to see that there is hope. If we stumble now, that'll be lost. Yeah, man. The Reds are everywhere, and they brought plenty of toys. Yesterday, our boys tried to blow a bridge on their supply route. <laughs> Only today, Red trucks are rolling back and forth like nothing happened. I tell you, if I demoed that bridge, there'd be nothing left to put back together. Instead, they got more soldiers than ever sitting on it. Yo, give me some TNT, and I'll blow that baby. Or die trying. Hang on, I like let's his get hat. real. Uh, that bridge is important. The voice actor sounds familiar. I'm not... doesn't bring anything for me. Too. The Soviets deploy their troops from the old fire station. We need to take control back. Hey, 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 Damn it. hey, hey, The Soviets have deprived this woman of a bra. She's even, like, nipping out in that shirt. In a red beret. They got snipers and choppers up there. This no time for brawls, I guess. You Chris, need to fight. Before you go, Troy wants a word with you. Be careful up there. Troy. Remember, retreat to the sewers if things get too hot. I'll be waiting for you. Who's Troy? Hey Chris, I've been thinking. No, There's his name is Mario. Freedom fighters outside Manhattan. I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna tell him what we got going on here. He's, who knows? You know, maybe we can scratch together some sort of. National resistance movement. I mean, you you do that. <laughs> All right, uh, next mission. Uh, the harbor, the fire station, and the hotel. Usually, it seems like you gotta do these in order because you gotta get something from one to take on the other one. Uh, we'll, we'll start with the fire station. Capture the old fire station. Soviet reinforcements in this section are coordinated from here. Then destroy the remaining bridge. It makes an important supply route for the Soviets. That's it, and that's the Take one thing out, the Soviets have done right. <laughs> what, not give women bras? 
That's, that's a strange law to injure a comrade. Bras or just you know, another way that capitalism restrains you. Resist, my friend. It is the imperialist belief that boobs must be you know, contained within supportive garments. I mean, I don't remember Lennon writing that in his book, comrade, but if you say so, who am I to argue against a secret police? I'm ready to roll anytime, sport. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Cold blooded, are you? Let's move. Come with me. Sure Help. thing. Right I'm behind you. Yeah. yeah. I like when I do a good thing, it's very supportive of me. Would I oppose that law of women not being allowed to wear bras? You know what, I've... I know there's a good reason why women wear bras, so I would, you know, not do that to them. We invented that thing, well, for a reason. And while it's, it's great to sometimes just take them off while you're at home and everything and just, like, be free. You got to do, do run errands and stuff for the day, uh, depending on your size. Uh, that's our favorite news uh, news anchor lady. She's doing the DreamWorks face. Thanks. You need your bra? See, I would not. You'll be that authoritarian. In fact, uh, bras for everyone, paid for by your government. The good stuff too. Oh, is that a... Name of the Resistance is a Wolverine? No, we're just... We're, our name is literally just Freedom Fighters. We, we didn't really spend a lot of time coming up with it. Here. Free $60 bras? Fuck yeah, yeah. You get a, you get a bra you know, allowance every year. You've heard of Medicare for all? No. L lingerie for all. But, they, but, however, we have to do something for the dudes too. It's gonna, it's a little one side right now. This law. Uh, the health packs are generous in this world. Do bras really cost that much? Jesus fuck. I mean, I, I thought that'd be like the price of like the really nice ones. Like, oh, it's got lace. Men can get bras too. I uh, mean, I think they do make those for, like, guys suffering from, like, your, your boobage. But it's usually not something guys ever want to wear. Boxers? No, boxer briefs is where it's at. Men, out there, men listening in chat, abandon boxers, go for boxer briefs. I'm telling you, you'll, 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 you'll thank me. You prefer jockey shorts? Uh, sort of the same thing. But, you know, boxer briefs? So, like, what? I remember boxers always being irritated by them because they'd, like, sort of ride up you by the end of the day. Or usually sometimes within you know, the hour of wearing them. Boxer briefs, man, they've changed my life. It's like, mmm, these are nice. And if you have really like nice muscular jaw you know, down there, they look even better. Bras can be stupid expensive on the brand. Uh, yeah, generally. But usually it's like uh, also like all the. Uh, I'm, I guess you're paying for functionality too. What? Like you don't have that underwire support. Does it? Is it a push up? Is it comfy? And everything else. There's a lot of science involved. Where are we on the map, by the way? We gotta make our way to the... Wow, we, we have made no progress. Get back here! You heard me! So, uh, I guess we gotta decide a route. Uh, we'll go the long way. I think the bridge is, like, contested. We gotta destroy it later. So we're gonna go to the fire station. Follow me, men. Also expensive to me. Yeah, the bigger you are, the more obviously the more fabric it's going to need. I 
I'm getting a conversation about boobs again. Let's take them out. I mean, I don't mind. For a you know, red-blooded American conversation, it's actually pretty nice to have that on the 4th of July. Oh. Fall in. I'm not your huckleberry. Let's go. Um, I don't think so. Get over here. Sorry, buddy. Not me. Well, fuck you too. Don't fight for the cause. I guess I don't have high enough charisma. Regroup. Do it. Yes, sir. Falling in. I'm not your huckleberry. That's a. Move that's in. A, uh, yeah. I guess. I guess you know that is the name of a book. Russians can keep New Jersey. They you know they might. Oh shit! Can these guys even die? You commented on an NPC's lack of bra. Oh yeah, her nips were out there. I mean, it, it was fairly obvious that they like. You know what? We want a hot girl character in the game and have her nips just be sticking out of that shirt. Are you hiding behind a fire hydrant? A reference uh, to Tombstone. Let's see, oh, I'm I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Regroup, all of you. Time to use grenades. Oh shit! And not like that though. I don't like the throwing mechanics at all. For anyone wondering, we're probably not going to complete this game either. I don't think I'll be coming back to it multiple times, like, to play through it. Unless chat really wants it. I forgot, like, a bunch of games I've already kind of started. Oh, shit, one of my dudes is done. In fact, I think both my dudes are down. Oh, I think the sniper is like nailing them left and right. <laughs> Ow. Hmm. Maybe this would be better to shoot him pinpoint. Never mind, got him. All right. Uh You're going to be fine. Take it. Still there chatter in my stream freeze. Might be able to recruit those other guys since the bums the bums are dead. No, they're de not dead, they're just hurt. I don't think they can actually die. They just get wounded and you if you have like med kits on you, you can bring them back. Uh okay, there's a bridge out here. Which died? No, I don't think it did. I'm just, you know... Uh, I guess Chad got sleepy for a moment. Yeah, I, I, just so you're aware, Chad, I'm out of tea. Yeah, that's right. No tea to drink tonight, and I'm really upset. I knew there was something off. Can't watch it all, these killings of my fellow citizens anymore. Good night, all, my man. I'm sorry. Don't worry. For, the, for the tonight, when you watched, you were American, though. As I said, on this hollow day, everyone's American. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they get, like, Americans actually voice the Soviet soldiers in this game. How am I going to hydrate? Well, I did have a Diet Pepsi with me. But that's all gone now. Now I just got to drink water. How is it possible no tea? I ran out and I didn't buy anymore. Forgot about it.
Nope, I just realized, beginning to realize I don't really get a lot of ammo over the, the revolver. When I picked that up earlier. Maybe that was a bad choice. You know, it seems like you're, you're I like that your your guys are like competent and do all the fighting for me. Is Pepsi okay? Official slogan of Pepsi. I mean, it, it gets the job done. It will it will quench a thirst. Not a heavy one, but a, a, a light one. You always get the question, is Coke okay and make you, what, at a restaurant? Well, it's kind of normal for them to ask you that. For some reason, I've always noticed most restaurants always carry, like, Coke. And very few carry the Pepsi products. That's probably a good thing, though, to be honest. There's probably a reason for that. But when it comes to, I don't really drink a lot of soda. It's really, when it comes to soda, it's usually, like, a Diet Pepsi. Wait up. No. Boston Pizza has Pepsi, I think. Yeah, there's a like KFC also uses Pepsi. For, I guess so that it's part of the deal. Chopper. Oh shit! It's a hind deep. I'm going to swat a couple of bothersome flies. I think there's a way up here either. No, no, there be. There be. Oh, shit. Oh, Metal Gear made that seem possible. And there's an invisible wall there. Regroup. Move. 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 Pepsi tastes like someone took pop and mixed a little perfume in it. I mean, it's just soda. I mean, none of it's going to really be... You'll, it's just like, here's some flavored water in carbonation. None of it's all that impressive. Good. Fight well. Oh no, he's down. Well, luckily I got some new recruits. You, anyone want to sign up? Come on. Follow me. Move out. All right. I mean, you didn't see what just happened down there, did you? <laughs> yeah, I think I should like... Uh, uns I think you gotta unscrew these, these so you can like use them, don't you? You can like transport yourself to this place next time. Save. About to start a war up in here over over what? I mean, we're already fighting one, son. Look around. Uh, why, why are you guys just... Freedom fighters are lazy unless someone charismatic comes along to relieve them. They're like, ah, I'm going to stay in the alley, boss. We need a pipe sound effect whenever you enter a sewer. Why specifically a pipe sound effect? You know, soundtrack is really going off. Like, should we have orchestral choirs? Yes, all of them. You mean for everything? Yes. D did I stutter? Oh, shit. Ow, 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 comrade, it hurts. Oh, A little bit of friendly fire there. Chopper again. Mario Bros. Pipe sound effect. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, no. Uh, uh, one, that's a the old copyright issue, possibly. So I don't think it'd be a good idea to put it up there. And to uh, how often? It's really not as funny as you think it is. It would get old very quickly. Honestly, I've thought about getting rid of any sound effect for any type of alert.
They're heavily guarding this post office. Wait, well, where are we even near the post office? Honestly, it feels a little bit like Ratchet and Clank. Uh, oh shit. Okay, where are we? Uh, okay, we're... Post office is... Over there? Oh, the, well, I'm looking at it. Dumbass. Just have your notification sound effect be your ding sound effect. Uh, I mean, alright. That is for bits, which is usually the most common in use anyways. Uh, I've, I thought about just getting rid of any, uh, any sound effect. You only have it on-screen text for, like, any type of announcement. You know, uh, most people don't really use too many sound effects these days for their stream announcements. It used to be a bigger thing, but it's kind of like people have grown out of it, I guess. It is so You know, when you think about it, how come there aren't very many games where America is the bad guy and you're fighting against us? It must be weird when you're non-American and like every time you, it's always the Americans against everyone else. Like when do we get to like shoot some of them? When do we get to turn the tables on them? M maybe there are like a bunch of those games they just don't get released here. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare as you're fighting against America. I know there's like times when there's like, you know, bad guys that are Americans. And there's also that Spec Ops The Line game where you, you know, fight against, you know, uh, some Americans in the desert. But there really aren't that many. Far Cry 5. Uh, yeah, that's against, you know, religious fanatics. I'm like talking about, you know, the military. Did you guys hear that Tencent recently bought the Spec Ops, the, the Spec Ops series? I'm, I'm almost positive that is like a, a level design from the game. Yeah, it looks like a level design editor. I think he's just stuck on this screen. By the way, at the two hour mark, we're going to switch to another game. So we'll be playing this one for a little bit longer. Shit, that guy died like those that family in your LA North. Oh no, he's still alive. He just you know frozen in terror of me. Probably because fighting Russia sells better in the US. Uh I said yeah, definitely would do that, but does no one want to sell games in Russia? Or is that just like not a big market? Rarely any video games are America are the enemies. I guess it's because many people who buy it are probably from well, I guess everyone just wants to sell their games in America. And they, I mean the same is sort of happening now with China, like a lot of games will not, you know, have any type of criticism or, like, military action done against China because they want to sell their games there. But I guess that's kind of the same thing. Like, if you're a big market, like, we want to make sure we don't piss them off. You seem like every mission ends the same, doesn't it? Hoist in the flag. What game of so Soviet Russians, not Soviets, the bad guys? Uh, it has just regular Russians, not the Soviets. A lot of Call of Duty games do. 
Ooh, you know, actually, I've noticed recently there's a lot more games coming out of Russia. Some of them even, like, pretty good looking, like that Atomic Heart game. Where is that? Or is that Ukrainian? No, no, sometimes I get that confused. Sometimes Ukrainians will make, or like, or Georgians will make a lot of games, but... Uh, and it can just seem like it's from Russia. Ugh. Fuck China, I mean, hey. There's a lot to criticize. Ugh. Ugh. I guess we go to another location now. Now we did the fire station, we, we go to the harbor then. Actually, don't we have another objective to do it back in the other map? Actually, no, we've done it all. I guess modern warfare is Russian enemies. Usually it's like Russian, or the, they'll usually say like Russian separatists, I believe is how they'll usually describe them. They're not, you know, they're not representing the Russian people or the government. They're like, no, they're separatists. I believe that's what he usually uses. Uh, you didn't blow the bridge up? It's green, so I guess that counts. I'm not sure why, but it, I don't remember doing that. That's why I went back to check. The so warehouse buildings and... They had a, but, uh... Go back to the rebel base. Maybe they'll be tell us something. Oh, nothing. Um. It's now or never, Chris. With the fire station under our control, we have a small edge for the moment. I mean, wouldn't they just take it back? Stars and stripes that are joining our cause. They even led us to a cache of Soviet SMGs. Take one for your next mission. Oh. Well, I already had those though. <laughs> How's the 4th of July base game? So far, we've been playing this one. We got another one we're going to play soon, though. But, yeah, it's not a bad game. It's, you know, kind of old, but hey. Sometimes old ain't too bad. As much as I like the revolver, I don't really seem to get ammo for it. We'll go back to the pistol. The only game I know of that barely has any mentions of your country is Metal Gear Rising... I'm not disappointed. Yeah, that's mainly about you fighting like your the private military companies and sexy robots. And you a US senator, so that's sort of close. To the harbor. Seize the warehouse buildings. This is where the Soviets store their small arms and artillery that they unload from the ships. Taking these buildings will greatly reduce enemy firepower. Blow up the helicopter fueling station here as well. This will ground the Soviet chopper fleet. Alright. Play college ball, you know. You know, it kind of played, you know, you know how we were playing Bioshock the other day? The Senator, Sen the Senator Armstrong was basically an Ayn Rand, uh, uh, he was really into Ayn Randian, uh, uh, po po uh, politics. He would, like, basically classify as an objectivist. Some air base in Pakistan, I forget the name of what? Oh yeah, the final level. I need to like get pe people on my Can we recruit the kid? Seems like the best way to down those choppers is to take out the landing pad. We can get there through one of those old buildings over there. Taking out their la they're, they're a helicopter, they can land on any flat surface. These aren't the same thing as like planes that need a runway. Let's move! Heck yeah! This way! Yeah, lock and load. Get over here! Don't fuck with those helicopters. Usually that's always a good ant you know, thing to say in wartime. You don't fuck around with them if you don't have the weapons to take them down. We're usually bad news. But that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go fuck with some helicopters. That's like... An easier way to attack from the side. Hmm.
You accidentally discovered a furry trap. You too. You require bleach. I mean, did you accidentally discover it? Come on now. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. There is shit everywhere. I'm dead. But how do you have a furry trap, YouTuber? I mean, that's a lot of adjectives and descriptions and a lot of identities. They're all wrapped up in one. This way. Follow me. Finally, somebody's taking charge. Lead the way. Accidentally. How do you accidentally discover that? I mean, usually you get a thumbnail. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's get after him. Actually, no. How do I, like, disrecruit one of you? Defend this area. Yes, sir. We're rolling. Let's move. No way. I don't want to die young. Well, you're already in the, the the resistance, though. Abort. You heard me. Lead the way. Most people say you avoid bullshit in a war zone. No, you, you stay down and, you know, cover your ass and, you, and the guy next to you. Let's get up there. Get back here. Team on in. Sadly, the fireworks are much further from the spot near my place. Uh, you see the thing? I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about fireworks. Like, the fireworks display my local area puts on is usually pretty pathetic. It's usually not even worth watching it. So that's why I'm streaming for everyone tonight instead. Because I already had my, my big steak dinner, so I'm good. That's how I celebrate the 4th steak. Did you know Ayn Rand needed government aid? Yeah, I know she like lived on social security and stuff like that at the end. But I believe usually when you talk to a libertarian or, a, you know, in her case, an objectivist, and you, m you mention social security, they're, they're like, well, we, we paid into it, so why wouldn't we get it? So they, they that's usually their argument for it. Like, well, yeah, I paid into the system all my life. Of course I'm going to use it. I think we killed everyone on that station. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing tonight? How was your fourth so far? Are you fighting for the free world like we are tonight? Shit. Fuck! I was doing good, too. She sounds like a hypocrite, but she just has an ideology that's impossible to actually make it work. That's why objectivism is usually kind of laughed at. We're gonna recruit the hot girl this time. Move out. All right, I'm in. Come on, follow me. Yeah, I'm in. You got a panicking dog in your arms. Let's Fireworks, huh? Yeah, they'll do that to you. Kids are cruel, Jack. I'm very. I, I, oh, he's not like the character from that series, that game. I almost forget all the time. Let's try this again, shall we? I mean, this feels unfair. They can't seem to, their AI doesn't know how to shoot back if I'm too far away, I don't think. Return fire, but sir, he's down the street. What is this? This is Freedom Fighters, an old PS2 game. It seemed appropriate for a, you know, you know, 4th of July. But that's why we're playing it. I really don't like shooting mechanics in this game. I mean, not the, gym, the, you know, the throwing mechanics. They're kind of rough. I 
Now this game was made by the Hitman devs too. No, it doesn't really have much of Hitman's identity in it. Is Homefront one of the games on the list tonight? Homefront? Uh, no. What's Homefront about, anyways? I feel like I know what that is, but I'm not. But it's not ringing any like memory bells. Red Dawn the game. Uh, well, this is basically Red Dawn the game. This is the Soviet Union has invaded and taken over America. North Korea. You know, it's even more ridiculous that North Korea can invade anyone, especially the U.S. than this the entire Soviet Union. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Luckily, they're all lined up in a tight group. Oh, shit. All of you attack the gunner. Ow. Hey, North Korea versus Russia. Who would win? Russia, easily. Maybe not easily, but Russia would definitely win that fight. In the home front universe, North and South Korea united and became a strong power. Even if they did, North Korea is a really shitty government and they would not be able to make a strong enough army to be able to invade the entire United States. So this is the... Where am I? What is this building? But hey, it's fiction. In fiction, you can do crazy shit. Like, you'll have that happen, I guess. What about Japan versus Russia? Well, that technically happened, and Japan won. However, that was like in 1920s or something. Or earlier. Uh, these days, uh, Japan only has a self-defense force, but it is American-trained, and, you know, they use a lot of American weapons and stuff. And Japan is known for usually being very you know, good at you know fighting in wars. I just don't know how well it'll go now since it's been so long. But it would... I don't know, it might be a very drawn out battle. Because the thing is, Russia doesn't really have too much of a navy. They mainly rely on submarines. Their navy is more deterrent to deter anyone from being around them. Rather than launching like large scale attacks. So it'd be very difficult for them to like do much. You'll know, launch that kind of invasion of it of anyone across the sea. That's not bad shit enough, and home front, North Korea took over Japan to get all of its future tech. Well, wouldn't Japan have just use the future tech to fight them off? And Japan doesn't have any of this, you know, well... A lot of people believe Japan is very futuristic, but Japan is definitely not. I'll patch you up. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks for Regroup. helping out an old move, timer move, like me. Behind you. If Where's I my... were younger, I'd tag along with you. Hmm. Where's my Your third dude at? boys might want to know that... The Reds have been IO development room across from that room that you're in nice east track. No, you're right. Gub star and daughter. Oof. Now that was a death animation. <laughs> That's the exact point I asked about the home front. Yeah, it's just Anytime you make a game where America is being invaded and taken over, you got some explaining to do. Hey, Kilroy, what's going on? This is your Freedom Fighters, a very Murica game. It's basically Red Dawn, only you'll buy another name. Hopefully I killed everyone here earlier. Did you know that South Korea and Japan aren't exactly on good terms? Well, yeah, I know. There's a lot of uh, issues relating to World War II and some of the atrocities committed. And also a big deal with it is Japan's, you know, they have a war shrine, like War Dead, that usually gets, it's very contentious among Koreans and Chinese. That usually always sets off, usually like every year, there's always like a, you know, Big round of outrage because some uh, Japanese politician will visit it. 
be fair, in the Red Dawn remake from 2011, their excuse was North Korea launched an EMP super bomb that knocked out power across half the U.S. And they came in as you, as an aid force. No one would believe North Korea would be an aid force. And also, military hardware is usually hardened. Like a lot of the, a lot of the good stuff, anyway, is hardened against EMP. See, I can I can poke holes in anything, chat. There's nothing that's immune to me. That's just how I'm built. Wait, I I. I went the wrong way. I was planning to go to the helipad and I went down the wrong street. I need to go up this way. Regroup. You heard me. I think Russia has a pretty good way of invading America in modern warfare. Unless you like control Canada or Mexico, you do not have a good way of invading America. <clears throat> America is pretty much the most uninvadable country there is. It just yelled that rough. Dart Bear, are you familiar with Noam Chomsky? Yes, I'm familiar with Noam Chomsky. You emailed him questions and he emailed you back. That was dope. Oh, some people are cool like that. Hey, I have an entire section on my Discord where I answer questions. Though I'm not exactly a political the old, uh, the old speaker. Dex, you've got a dish full of food. Stop pushing it around. Jesus, kitty. Do you want to get fat? Do you want to be a chonker? I mean, I don't want you to become an internet meme. China has many troops in Canada. This is news to me. When did this happen? I don't think that's true. Unless you're just like making a joke or something. Hmm. Metal Gear Rising, except Salt Snake shows up halfway through and has the exact same move set as Raiden. I mean, that'd just be a skin. I mean, you basically get that same thing in Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero, is where you can play as Raiden. Only it just he plays the same. It's just a skin. Can I can confirm that China has no military presence in Canada? Yeah, I don't think they have any military presence outside of like mainly China and I think maybe a place in Africa or two. I think it's mainly economic stuff in Africa they got going on. China has an entire soft power apparatus. Yeah, they're mainly about exercising economic control of areas, and then just making sure that their own military, you know, their own country borders. It's uh, almost like a porcupine, where it'd be very difficult to attack them, or like very painful to do so. Then yeah, the, but definitely exercise a lot of soft power. I mean, just look at all the video game companies. Like, oh, uh, we don't want to like mention anything bad about China in our video game. Or, you know, like, you know, that wrestler guy turned actor, uh, you know, like, speaking Chinese in a TikTok video to apologize for mentioning the existence of Taiwan. China has a bunch of malware everywhere. Well, Russia, a lot of countries actually utilize, you know, you know, cyber warfare these days. China and Russia both are big into that, because it's re relatively inexpensive compared to most w regular warfare. And it's, you know, deniable. Red Dawn Remake was supposed to be China Invade. I heard about that, actually, but they changed it uh, to North Korea because they wanted to uh, hopefully get the movie released in China. I don't know if that happened, though. Usually, just having a, a movie about American soldiers in general won't probably make it in China. You're a real American, God bless. Plant C4 on this? I don't have any C4. Oh, well, that's an issue. I guess we'll come back here after we take over the warehouse. Even Elon Musk. Well, most businessmen are because they want to, like, he has a factory for Teslas in China. And you don't get to keep that if you ever uh, offer any criticism of China. This game needs more red, blue, and white. I mean, I raise an American flag at the end of every mission. Just to, like, rub it in their face, like, yeah, we got this now. This is our post office. What game is this? This is, uh, Freedom Fighters. So, a patriotic game for a patriotic day. Hard to not get leveraged by billions of potential customers. That th that's the thing is, though, most of th that's the main reason they do, but most of them never really get that, have a rough time actually acquiring that level of market share. And most of China's population doesn't have the kind of money that they would need to, like, buy those products anyways. It's only the people living in the cities, generally. And a lot of their population still lives in, like, rural villages and stuff where they don't have access to any of that. At least that's what I, how I've been reading up on it anyways. That I've learned about. 
only like a certain percentage of their population is like at that level like, where like a lot of the modern you know luxuries are like affordable to them He'll, he'll. It almost feels like my AI companions are like playing the game as yeah, hard, hard mode NPCs because they rarely die, and they just kill everything in front of them. Really, the cinema industry that goes for this goes for that since film is more universal than want to make it. That that I can agree with, and vi video games recently too. But you know, movies and video games. Entertainment, because that, that, I guess that is easier to like sell and get your know, money out of China from, is definitely you know been uh playing nice. Uyghurs, what are those? I've never heard of them. Our fucking warehouse now. We own this shit. Playing like Halo 3 ODST AI on Legendary. Yeah, that's what my 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 AI companions are on. Because they just sit there and take all the bullets and only go down after a very long time. And then I can get them right back up after. And they, they literally just mow through everything. Honestly, what we're losing out on is the mineral claims and development assistance to Africa. We prime directive of ourselves out, of, out while China just bought half the mining rights to Africa. Well, the thing is, there's always generally a backlash to any outside country that goes into another country and tries to do anything. So eventually, China will face that same backlash. In fact, they already are in a lot of places, I believe. There's a lot of places that are becoming much more resistant to Chinese investment because directly because of how they like put people in debt that they can almost never pay off. That is very deep tonight. Uh, well, polit you know, talking about America brings out the America and everybody. So, warehouses. You have a PhD, you should be deeper. Who says I have a PhD? Who told you this lie? Abort! Falling in, sir. Get back here! Team! We will... Dr. Dargan, no, uh huh? There was a point in my early childhood where I wanted to be an archaeologist, so that would have made me a PhD, but I ended up changing my mind on that one. China tries to slip in human rights violations. They don't really, well, well, they definitely do that in their own country. I don't know if they, like, started exporting it yet. A lot of the places China, like, you know, does business in already have human you know, violation rights of their own. They're, they're, so they're kind of open to that already. Russia intensive. I know we're here to like stamp out the Soviets. Which is different from Russians. Wanna make that clear for any Russian viewers out there. If we had one earlier who like, yo, I can't watch my countrymen be killed anymore. You know, these are not the same thing. These these are the bad Russians. I have a PhD in Synology. Yeah, what college teaches that class, by the way? Hmm. How do I get in there? I feel like I would have loved this game in 2002. I definitely think it's age and it's it, but it's definitely was is a good game. I don't know how good it would be if you're playing this on console without mouse look though. That, that's a big deal thing for my enjoyment of any game like this, whether I get aim properly. And PS2 often wasn't the best when it came to like of getting proper aiming out of any game on it for some reason. Uh, not sure how I get in there. Oh, there's a ladder. No, no, actually, no, there's not a ladder. That was the ladder to go back into the thing. Mm, what about you? Is this a GameCube game? I don't know if it, I know it's PS2. I don't know if it got re released on GameCube. Oh, no, you're asking this Pakistani any GameCube. Uh, no, this got re released on Steam not too long ago. This is from the same developers that made Hitman. So I guess they're like, hey, we got, you know, let's, you'll, you'll touch up our old game and, you'll know, put it on, you'll, let's see your Steam. 
You're skipping fireworks day, not feeling the patriotism this year? Uh, well, you're here tonight, so you're getting a dose of it anyways. But hey, uh, you've seen one fireworks show, you kind of see them all, right? Cat girls are key for what? World peace? So the anime weebs keep telling me. I mean, we may be living at. You may actually live long enough to see cat girls, considering how fast genetic, genetic engineering is going. To be fair, though, they're just going to be humans who have grown a little bit of extra cartilage on the top of their head. And it won't even be a fully functioning ear. But it'll give you the look. That's all you need. In fact, you could probably do that now with some, like, plastic surgery and some implants. Blind? I know I'm blinding. I mean, I'm... Shouldn't be. It should be very simple to see where to go in a PS2 game. But, hey, still having an issue. I gotta get into that... But maybe I, there's a possibility that I wasn't supposed to come here yet, actually. Oh, never mind. Door's open. Look, it's all brown, alright? That or we can get some replicant tier artificial life forms we insert our genitalia into. I mean... I mean, the... You know, flesh lights exist, but I guess you want the, the entire body to go along with it. How about we turn this old glorious patriotic display into perversion once again? I don't. I'll never understand how you do it every time, chat. Imagine the existential terror of real dolls. Uh, yeah, you, the first generation of those are gonna give. Oh shit! I'm about to die. We'll give you some serious uncanny valley. I mean, if you say the the the, the real dolls that exist now are like, Ugh. I've, I've seen like YouTube recommend me some videos on them, and they're like, you know what? I'll pass. Get one of my boys is down. How's the fall damage in this game? Non-existent. Take it. Fall back. Oh, that's a new gun. Yeah, keep, stick with the AK. Who would win, real dolls or cat girls? Cat girls, I'm gonna guess. I mean, I think it'd be a lot easier to make them too. While real dolls just kind of lay there and like say lines. Imagine the cat girl sex doll that rates your performance after every lay. Oof. You know, sometimes you can go too far. I mean, if you're paying for something, it better just give you a, a five star rating. Uh, how do I destroy all this? Actually, I need to like, move up. I need to go somewhere else. Zero out of ten. Happy fourth, happy fourth. Although I love the stream, but I have to go talk to the fire department because my neighbor set his backyard on fire. With his fireworks, I'll see you tomorrow. Damn, I'm sorry that's going on in your place, man. I hope everything's okay. Go to the roof and take the flag. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to find the way to the roof. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, sniper rifle. A sniper rifle with no kickback even. The best kind. Shit. This should help. Oh, this is a shitty sniper rebel if it takes that many bullets. I guess you just gotta get the headshot. Cat girl, you are the worst. If if, if take To this. be fair, if it does have anything resembling the personality of the cat, it will probably be just completely uh, ignore you most of the time. Uh, scratch you if you ever like pet it too much, and then you'll just want food and attention and then want you to never actually look at it the rest of the time. So be careful what you'll g genetically you get out of that deal, I guess.
I always get the feeling most people who talk about Kagura, they, they just they just want the look of something and something that goes into heat every once in a while. Which is always like, like maybe you should just get used to real women. See shit through these fucking great people were th if pet people were a thing would they be treated as humans or second class citizens? That's a question I don't want to get into because my god that's you know definitely something you'd have to think about. <laughs> yeah, I, I think most of society would actually look down on you know, creating a genetic race of sex slaves generally. Let's which is let's be honest this is what people think of cat girls as like oh it's a cat girl it's gonna finally someone who will touch me. You'll have to. And, which is a really creepy ass thing when you actually think about it in realistic terms. I think the, there might be some human rights abuses there. Pull out! Do it. Pull out. I mean, sure. I'm not gonna go with that joke. Real women get old, 2D cat girls are forever. Well, by the time that we're like creating cat girl life forms. I'm gonna guess aging will be a solved issue. So let me get this straight. Our hero is a plumber. He is a plumber. I mean, the opening of this game almost felt like a porn star, a porn opening. They just walk into a place like you know, the the client's house without knocking. Like, hey, nobody's home. Let's look around for a bit. I almost expect like the girl, like, oh hey, can you clean my pipes? And we're there looking for a girlfriend too. I mean. I think it was our brother's girlfriend. That would have been my... my I'm gonna stop. My girl's... My, my, my brother's hot girlfriend kind of video. Did I just... Come out the other end? Do you accept aging to be a solved in this century? I think it's something that will definitely... It's not even a question of if. It's a question of when. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't really want to, you know, given a... a, a an idea when it would happen, but I do think it will eventually happen because there's actually medical a lot of me all the medical data now actually points to that is actually something that can be done, and it's actually being done in animals that, you know all the time now. It's just a matter of like translating it into humans. Uh, sorry, but Princess Daisy's in another gulag. <laughs> What's up, my guy? How you doing? Stop shooting my hot resistance member. Let me free them. Oh damn, freedom fighters! You love this game. I know you've mentioned it a few times, but uh, I'm playing it because you know it's the Fourth of July here in the U.S. It's a very patriotic hey, game, amongst others. But there's no friendly fire in this game. Think we're about to raise the flag, chat. In fact, we're going to be... Sorry to mention this, guy, but we're actually going to be switching to another game very soon. It's almost at the two-hour mark. Hmm. Yeah. Does anyone else dump bacon grease on their dog food? Uh, I... When I used to have a dog when I was a teenager, I'd put fish oil on their food. I think the flag has risen for a lot of people in the chat for the hot chick. <laughs> Which one? The 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 resistance the redheaded resistance leader with the big tits? Not to worry, you're playing this is enough. Uh, well, the VOD's there for you to watch the rest of it. Because there's two hours of it. Funny crack... I hear, you hear cracking an egg on the dry dog food every now and again is good for them. I've seen that in videos. I've never done it myself, though. Because I haven't had a dog ever since I moved out, because my apartment's not a really good place for them. Big tittied redheads? No, it's even better. She's a you know, a tough girl, big titty redhead. Who doesn't wear a bra. Blowing up that fuel station really weakened the enemy. We should have an easier time in this area. 
Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to all the people, all the, even the non-Americans. Some of you still had to, like, earn your, you know, hey, India had to go through its own resistance. Well, not resistance, but, well, uh, they had to get their independence, too. So, happy, every, 4th of July is a day everyone can understand and like. Hi, Regina from Dino Crisis. You know what? It kind of is her, isn't it? Although, at least she wore a bra in those games. What it's all about, chat. It's what we're fighting for. Salute. No salute button in game, though. I do have a pipe wrench. Hmm. However, I think it's time to switch to the other game of the night. Which will probably give us more meme potential, anyways. This is a much more serious, or serious game. Shepard and uh, Admiral Anderson, huh? This is the day we beat the aliens who tried to invade with President B Bill Pullman in 1996. Ah, every American remembers that day and where they were at. Why is the flag P? Because we're literally, our hideout is a gigantic sewer. So it's a little bit dirty. An active duty Navy member, you say America, goddamn right. Hmm. Is it Middle Gear Rising? It is not. You will now find out what it is. Godspeed, Freedom Fighters. You were with us for two hours, but it was enough. Should be able to go back to using game capture for the next one. Yeah, some of you probably know. Some of you already guessed it. Verifying the target 1300 feet below. Please complete boarding procedures before getting in. Roger that. Have a ton of tickets. Let's party! Well, that's a president I'd vote for. Remember what I was talking about earlier about a game where you don't really fight against Americans? I was thinking of this when I thought about that. People ever make a sequel to this one? Alright, let's actually get into the game. That's just like a yo know, demo. Welcome. You love me for this? Oh, my, my, your love is easy to earn, and that's all it takes. I'll expect you here tonight later with some wine. So, I think everything's already set up. That's a, that's a Second Amendment robot I've ever saw one. Like, how many guns does it have? All of them. If I ever have, like, a giant war mech, I think I will call it Second Amendment. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Could this game be played with a controller, or is it only with a keyboard and mouse? First, into the first. the end of the first yep. quarter of the 21st century. Wait, is that Virgil? Dead in America. Beginning with a large-scale military. Sounds a little bit like he's trying to do Virgil. In various cities throughout the nation. What is this power? The rebels seized power in all the central institutions of government. The entire nation appeared to have fallen completely into the hands of the coup d'etat forces. However, one final hope in opposing the coup d'etat forces remained. This final hope being the U.S. president himself. Michael Wilson, the 47th president of the United States, equipped with a special mobile armored op suit developed in secret by the military. How long do you think they spent putting this plot together? Five minutes? Alone. Six? To take back America's freedom. This, yeah, our next president is going to be this, the 47th. We have giant war mechs in Civil War. 
Get out my special op suit, Jody. It looks like a fancy party is about to start. This kind of party is a first for me. Mr. President? My, my president can't be this cute. What do you think his economic policies, though, Welcome were, though? To the White House. The people outside look really scary, I mean, Mr. doesn't it really feel bad to be shooting all your U.S. soldiers with the president? Alright, we get all that. You'll, shit, what? <laughs> Yell that. I uh, know a tutorial would be nice how to use the control of this damn thing. They just like the soldiers magically come out of that. Yeah, fucking yeah, rocket. What? Just funding giant robots. You know, I would support this if this was what the president wanted. I, I support a giant robot yell policy. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Wait, he already has a, pre a statue of himself in the White House? That's not how it works. I find that more you know, un unbelievable than him having a giant robot in the White Oval Office. This, this is basically the question, what if the president was also Batman? Has that actually been done in comics? Has Bruce Wayne ever run for president? Or, like, government? Like, I'm gonna be the mayor of Gotham now, Alfred. And he just turns City Hall into something like this. Do you accept the Japanese to know how the U.S. president works? I mean, they have a better idea of it, I think. Switch. Yeah, I, I, right trigger to sl uh, give me a big ass sniper rifle, sure. Didn't this originally come out on the PS1? Look at the M16. You know, it's got enough weapons on it. It doesn't have the, the aesthetics, though, I don't think. The old unit. Okay, let's, now we got a breather. Let's take a look at what we actually got on ourselves. Big-ass fucking cannons. Uh, whatever that is. A shotgun. What is this? Oh, whatever it is, it's empty. Shotgun, it'll be. And a revolver. That big guy, he has to. Uh, he, weird, he went with like such an advanced helicopter. They're like, you know what? Just stick some shotguns on there. And it's like an actual pump shotgun. Yeah, didn't we blow our way out the front of the White House? I mean, was it like go in tech to get? Mr. President, hurry up and head for the underground. Ba this situation looks pretty suspicious. You're supposed to enter from the roof section. 
game yelled this is America a little too much. You can never yell that you know quietly though. I got a boost mode. America swag. President's got drip. I'll be back. You're saying that to your own statue. Jody sounds like the prototype for Siri style AI. Yeah, but I wonder how you actually get someone to do a voice like that. I don't think that's AI synthesized. It's just like yeah. President, the Eagle Star is beyond here. Get going before the enemy chases after you. Have you seen Pat LeBlore? It's, I think I've seen like an anime, an episode or two. I never really sat and watched it though. Proceed ahead while destroying anything that stands in your way. But there might be. Over your weapons, depending on the situation, is the main key to fighting. Blow your way through everything, Mr. President. But this is like you know the the the, the, the food for the people. <laughs> you know, orphans are going to survive all this stuff. Just do it. It's hard to believe this is the country, the company that went and went on the old. You know what? Giant funny robots and the president. Also, you old horrible, the old well, uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne. You old moody games. Quite the tonal shift. How much of the U.S. budget do you think he spent on this personalized war mech, by the way? And how did he get Congress to approve it? Could, could you imagine that, like? That being at a spending bill for like, uh, uh, the good senator from Missouri raised the point that, uh, what reason does the president have for needing a gigantic personal war mech installed under the White House? I, I can't really see my constituents agreeing to this, you know, $400 billion expenditure for one man, even if it is the commander in chief. But it'll be cool. Uh, I, I do acknowledge acknowledge that it would be cool. Uh, very astute point, Senator from Virginia. But I, c could we at least maybe cut the budget somewhere else, like for the poor again? I mean, if you want to take money away from them to build your giant war mech, Mr. President, I'm all for it. realize I have ammo, I should probably not waste it. <laughs> joke going on for too long? The entire game is a joke that goes on for too long. So Doctor, if you think you're the gift sub. Oh, Mr. President, you killed all those American soldiers like a like a true president would. Hopefully, you just send them in the wars. It don't matter. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. My joke went on for too long. No such thing. Can, no. On a on a on a live stream, you never have to worry too much about brevity. Oh, this is where we keep Air Force One. Of all my jokes I make go on too long, that's the one you want to speak up on. Yeah, kill the people who don't vote for you. I mean, wow, this is getting a little deal. You know, a little too tough. <laughs> You can tell old PS1 game, they just spawn everywhere. Off my plate, no other badass presidents. My is my plane ready? This is not how a plane uh, yo a, a 747 works. Came out on the original Xbox. I was thinking PS1. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. How 
How's that for a ticketless chicken? Did I like hire the receptionist who just does nothing but puns? Not the one that I you'll hey, what, they should have, as a special for this game, they should have got Monica Lewinsky voice pack. He's making very light of the situation, is what I'm, all I'm going to say. Oh, birds. No, that was under that the entire time. I don't think a 747 fix would fit in the, the reflecting pool. Oh, you, you ruined the monument, Mr. Lincoln. Maybe this is maybe he deserved to be overthrown. I'm, maybe they had a good point. Oh. Yeah, why not call him Dick and scream that instead? It looks like this party is just getting started. That's the vice president, the in the other mech though. So we built two war mechs, one for the president, one for the vice president. So this this was clearly meant to be a very arcadey game with the way all this, the the way everything sounds in your place. It's like this we we made this for the arcade boards. Paint a new weapon, HK sixty nine. Hmm. President Michael Wilson's flight from the White House cemented Vice President Richard Hawke's hold on the country. This isn't how this works, but okay. You have a question. Why is the president killing U.S. soldiers? It's a coup d'etat. They've you know, violated their oath to the, you know, defend the Constitution, I, I guess. With the Pentagon, Congress, and every other core institution in America firmly in his grasp, Hawk was free to thrust his depravity upon the country in the name of revolution. The land of the free was free no more. But let me tell you the story of a man who stood against that tide, who believed in his own justice even when it deemed, seemed the whole country had turned against him. DNN correspondent Peter McDonald. Jody, update me as to the status of the nation. The Pentagon, the United Nations... The United Nations? I mean, that's other countries too, though. And all central government institutions have fallen into the hands of the vice president. I mean, I don't think he's called the vice president anymore if he controls the country. Who that call, yeah. Colonel, what the hell is going on? I don't know, Snake. This is really fucked up, even for us. I don't understand any of it. Are nano machines involved? Have they? No, but giant mechs are, Snake. Mr. President? Justice. Oh, that is an anime thing to say, isn't it? When will your know, American politics involve anime slogans? I'm sure your father would have told you the same. Oh, Papa President. Jody, how's my schedule look for today? You've got a conference and dinner party at the Japanese Embassy regarding wildlife protection. What? What? <laughs> Oh yeah. Sorry, but I'll have to cancel that. Sexy, sexy action sex. Maybe he's like, well, I'm guessing they got the idea from Bill Clinton in his saxophone. I'm heading out to save America. Can you let them know I won't be able to make it? I won't be able. Yes, Mr. President. To my beloved fellow Americans, very Good similar evening. to what we are just looking at. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your American justice and freedom supporter. First of all, what I would like to tell each and every one of you is this. Recent events were not a mere coup d'etat, but rather a revolution to correct the wrongs in the United States of America. To our regret, our nation Do we is stop playing the Plumberman game? Yeah, this is something else. Since 2010, domestic terrorism problems have increased rapidly. 
economic oh, is that the problems we face from the exhaustion of fossil fuels and the sudden rise in unemployment due to the influx of large-scale immigration okay that one may be mm, is an issue president nor the American government took actions to address these various problems on the contrary they have filled their own pockets adhering to terrorist cells to correct this situation Richard Hawk Arizona insurrection hero and vice president of the old government oh wow and the US and yo crazy eye extraordinaire to the task at hand. and man who looks like he's going through chemotherapy with those cheeks based in a belief of winning freedom and based I hope the Statue of Liberty turns out to be a robot war. and based in the belief in this great his name is Dick Hawk yep would you want that name However, well Richard Hawk to our regret an evil to disobey this belief exists in the United States of America too and here is like the Game of Thrones evil. characters is running me this villainous terrorist who first appeared in Washington and began his unjust rampage goes by the alias Metal Wolf. I don't remember ever calling myself that, but sure. His current whereabouts are unknown. Dick While Cuck. Dick America Bird. Will be under martial law until Metal Wolf is caught. I want, no, I want my name to be Dick Fuckhard. The yeah, there we go. Now that's a name. Without fail, the U.S. military elite forces with a combined strength of 1.5 million promise to smash and think we should be considered a u.s theme game technically it's the old u.s versus russia in space with hillary clinton and the old putin as the as the leaders of each country policy promotion department your special remedy you know i think you need to have the you know someone you with a bit more pizzazz touch up your political propaganda video reach all right we're just at the white house so destroy all targets and we're going to san francisco so we're the bridge will probably be destroyed at some point that's the only thing anyone knows about san francisco it's got a big red bridge the coup d'etat army that occupies san francisco still runs rampant and deprives 780,000 citizens of their freedom this was dubbed in japan that's why the dialogue yeah this is the old game and it was, it was clearly made for like japanese arcades and it's like ported to xbox uh, deprive seven or eight thousand citizens of their freedom. Also, Mr. President, make sure to install the poop app on your on your device so you'll know where not to go at certain points in the day. Target areas that the enemy force uses as the base How big was this coup? He convinced the entire military. Now he would have also apparently convinced every state. So apparently the, the vice president was like one hell of a good politician. Because that that is a that is a th difficult thing to do. Target areas of the enemy for I mean even the red and blue states. He's like yeah I got them all on my side. Target areas where enemy forces are concentrated are dangerous, but you can weaken their morale by so solid as slick with a snake. Thank you for the two gift subs to Dixon and twenty one zeros. Speech one hundred yeah this is the man who put everything into speech and also charisma. Destroy all target areas, annihilate the enemy force, and make the liberation of San Francisco shine as a beacon of hope in your counteroffensive. Hey, don't we? Th doesn't the nation have like an air force that could have tracked and shot down Air Force One while it flew from Washington D.C. to San Francisco? This is what would have happened if General Shepard got through with his plan. <laughs> Blank check. Got in Modern Warfare 2. I didn't play Modern Warfare 2, so I'm just like assuming this is a funny thing to you'll think about. Hey, Dart, I'm back. My neighbor is getting a huge fine, but everything else is all right. Be careful with your illegal fireworks, especially if you live in a dry climate. You're very fucking drunk. Asmaranth fucking ho, I yelled and... Whoa. And then did everyone to call me Big Boss and they... Did they consume the whole ass beer can? I mean, sounds like a party, my man. But tip, here's a you know, big old American salute to whatever the fuck that was. This mission goes by the call name... Metropolitan recapture operation from Cisco Sided Road. What? Sure, fine. I'll remember all that. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. What are we playing? The, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you the name. You just you'll go with it. 
equipped. It's the old, we're playing as a president in a giant war mech as he fights off the old, the vice pre the forces of the vice president. Didn't I unlock a new woman? There we go, and you will get flamethrowers. Nope, I don't have anything. Is, is this red hot chili peppers? You know, sure, we'll go with that. California, Californification, all the way. All right, guess uh, we're good. develop except Senator Armstrong that's the most American thing ever I would you know what he's the most American thing since this game investment huh oh, oh there's a lot of you know, more going on here than I thought Let's research into this category of uh, yes ML MML8 is now available for deployment for development all right Weapons that fire a large number of missiles. Uh, how much do I got left? Rail guns, yes, yes. All right, I think you need more money to manufacture them, right? All right, so rail gun. Uh, I don't have enough. Insufficient money. Congress, man. Give a give, whatever happened to good old American uh, military industrial complex. Artful. Special. All right, San Francisco. Mr. President, how's the skydiving? Not too bad. San Francisco, occupied by coup d'état forces, yep. will be the starting point of our counteroffensive. But why, though? And here's the starting grid. Okay. That's quite a gentlemanly landing, sir, befitting only of a U.S. president. The gentleman in me goes off the clock at 5 p.m. And now I'm gonna... Take America back! Hmm. <coughs> Yep. Uh, mm. I'll drink some Mountain Dew to that. Who made this game? From Software. That's right. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, and then this. They also have made a really cool game on Xbox called Otogi. And Otogi too. That kind of went under like uh, rep. I don't think many people bought them, but they were, I played demos of them. They were really good. The two wheeler, thank you for your eight months up. Thank you very much. Didn't I pick up a grenade launcher? Oh, I still have my bazooka. Those annoying soldiers, yes. You're the these are your men, Mr. President. Where does he store all the weapons? The ammo? Probably in the same place the guns are at. Those big red canisters at. On his back. How come this never got in the anime? Okay, there's like, weirdly, there's like a gun I can't switch to, like this P90 looking gun right here. It just switches right past it. Hmm. 
bag of money. The music of the soundtrack of this game sounds like I'm playing Tony Hawk sometimes. Only whether they couldn't license all the like the two thousands tracks. Out of ammo? No, I got plenty of uh, plenty of it. POWs are being transported in that cage. Destroy the cage with light firearms and rescue the people inside. I have light firearms. I have nothing but like gigantic weapons. But I guess like, maybe a shotgun counts. You might want to duck. No explosions on it. No bazookas. Is this Sonic with mechs? You know what? That's one way of playing, maybe describing it. You're, you've been liberated. You're welcome. Oh, the cable cars, not those vital military assets. Everyone wants the you know, El new Elden, you know, the Elden Ring. How come we don't get another game of this? This is, you know, this has got a lot of room. I even got the name for it, yo. They call it like yo second term. That's how you name a sequel in this kind of genre. The yellow icons on your radar are designated targets in each area. Destroy each target and blow the area to oblivion. Reinforcements come from the adjacent areas. When there are too many reinforcements, try attacking from another area. You could call it winning by retreating. Or or just like shooting everything, lady. Thing ever gonna fall, sir? You have uh, here's some great scientists we can use to make weapons. Great, stick them in a cage in the middle of San Francisco. Maybe I should use like the big cannon for this one. So are you going to light up some fireworks? No, I'm not really... Fireworks aren't that big of a deal for me. Like the local fireworks that get set off here too are also kind of crappy. Not, I've been to it before. Not a big... Not anything I'm missing. Controls are a little awkward in the game though. Mm, give me a shot. This is how NASA was made. Or, or quest to design giant robots? I must have missed those years. The target with the spinning antenna is the enemy's communications facility. From this facility, when communications are made, large numbers of reinforcements join the battle. It's really a nuisance, so destroy it first. So she doesn't talk like we're in the middle of a fight to reclaim the country and like against the old unconstitutional power grab. And you're like, ha, huh, Mr. President. I mean, I'm only killing a lot of people. Already done where you live? Uh, you know, I mean... Fourth of July is really only, only a really good holiday if you plan to get kind of, like, drunk. That's one way of doing it. And, you know, non-drinker here. So, I'd rather, like, stream and entertain some people. I've already had my steak dinner tonight anyway, so I'm good. Why does this remind you of Sonic Adventure? You know what? A lot of games from those early two those early two thousands should remind you of Sonic New Adventure. You 
should play a game that you're George Washington, that such a game exists. I don't know of any of that do that. Outside of civilizations. That's the only one I can think of. You never even drank alcohol once? No, you're like, I've, I've had my, my alcohol every once in a while. I just, you know, not my kind of thing. Nope, don't need to start drinking either. I'm really just like, I think it's so durable in my guns. to drink a lot in college. I stopped around three years. You know, good for you, man. Not only does it save your life and your money, it... Well, it should have just said not only does it save you money, but also saved your life. And, you know, better health, generally. And, you know, you don't fuck up as much. All around good decisions. You may be lamer for it. Your friends will pester you. But, you know, you've made the right call. I'm sorry, what? Uh oh. I'll destroy it. Whoops. They had guitars too, they were musicians. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather save scientists, anyways. They didn't record a lot of voice lines for them, Chad. They're, they're just, you know... The thing is, the citizens, they're independents. They haven't made a stake, so... Can't care too much about them. Where am I going? I think I've started up this way, so I think I need to go down that way. What weapons are even on this mech? Uh, all of them. Right now I have shotguns, revolvers, machine guns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers. Sniper rifle. And there's like, you can get rail guns, flamethrowers, and all sorts of other things. Hmm. Not much of a party here these days. I do like weed and psychedelics still, but those can be introvert drugs. The introvert enhancer, huh? Eh, eh. As long as you're being safe. What is this? Metal Gear 6? Hmm, nope. Yeah, tell everyone in, in the name of this game. Because I've kind of already forgotten it. It's Metal Wolf Chaos. Or Metal Chaos Wolf. Whichever one it is. From software developed game. From like early 2000s. Overheating. Am I like near death? Where's my health actually? This is USA President Simulator 2021. Whoa, well, if it isn't the pride of the United States military, M1 Abrams tank. I never thought they would join the fight. What was that noise? That was my secretary. <laughs> I'm not joking, that's the secretary. I'm trying to rescue more people by shooting them. You succeeded in saving the POWs. High powered weapons like bazookas are effective against the tough chain. Bazookas, you mean the weapon we don't use anymore? What's a tank going to do to a mech? A tank is just like a fatter mech without legs. When you think about it, huh? Big brain.
Mm -hmm. oh. well, sniper can only be used in that way. What is the goddamn? Do you hear right that you're the president? Yeah, we're the president and the vice. We're fighting against the evil vice president. Who's taking control of the country? We have a giant war mech that yo, we busted out of the White House. Head. It's kind of hard. It's not that difficult to wrap your head around this game's plot when you think about it. What's up with this in Sonic Venture 2? It's using San Francisco. It's just a famous place, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's got cool city design, I guess. I mean, you know, it slopes. Look, the Japanese people only recognize so many you know, places in America at this point. Hey, where does a guy get new ammo at? Because I'm running a bit low. You know what? Let's use the revolver. Stomp is good. I have a stomp? How do I use a stomp? Game looks good in a very I'm to be honest with you the gameplay is a little meh nah. it's mainly the cutscenes and the spectacle of it I guess like there's nothing you know, special about the gameplay in fact it's a little you know, crusty I think I don't have enough rockets to take out the other stuff Like you, you're probably better off just watching the cutscenes on YouTube or something. Uh, how do I do the stomp? Someone mentioned. Oh, that way. That's how you do the stomp. Uh, that's no longer got ammo, so. Switch into the shiny. So, chat, what have all of you been doing for Fourth of July? I don't think I've asked that one yet tonight. What we, what are the stuff you get up to? You weren't just watching my stream, were you? I know someone mentioned earlier about their backyard caught on fire. Yo, not anything to do with themselves though. Do the neighbors? Oh shit. That doesn't seem to work so well against that. Or naturally it does, never mind. Drank beer, drank moonshine. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Ordered pizza, barbecue, fireworks. All the all pretty normal stuff. Offensive augment. Play video games out west, it's dry, so hopefully people pay attention to the fireworks. No one ever pays attention to those. Everything's over here. The suspiciously tall targets are enemy headquarter installations. The morale of the troops is rising due to the HQ installations. Destroy the HQ facilities first and eradicate. 
indicate their will to fight. The enemy forces have you. How's my fourth going? Dude, it's been actually the best fourth ever because we've been you know, showing our patriotism through gaming. I like how they're shooting an invisible thing in the cutscene because I was standing there. What are you talking about, lady? Is Dex still asking for food? No, I think she like realized she wasn't gonna get her way. I like how the new president's idea of like policy just stick mini guns on everything. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Uh, we have much left at this point, actually. You're doing a Mar uh, Jody may be possible. Yeah, she's. Uh, how did she get this job, by the way? She doesn't sound like a normal secretary. I just want to see this beautiful building destroyed, Mr. President. Do it for Jody. Good thing an M16 can just take down a building, apparently. M16, that's what I'm using, a giant M16. For some reason, we had a giant robot made, but we just stock it with regular ass weapons. Is she Vanna White or is she realize I'm in a combat? I have to wonder if this is what she's actually saying in the Japanese version of the game. Please tell me I'm saying that. How could I sin this game? When something's you know, intentionally goofy, it's a little bit immune from my my my, uh, my literary your talents. You can just dive kick everything in this game like you're playing a fighting game and you're really cheap. This game only has English dubbing? Oh, that's interesting. Stop that shit. Uh oh. I think I'm like close to death. <laughs> Maybe move. What? Oh. Never mind, well, I forgot I even had that. Hmm. That's why the voice acting sounds so stilted. Well, I guess I just hired some lady who didn't really have any voice acting experience for that role. really need ammo badly. I don't know where to get it. Shit, I was aiming at the... All I can do is dive kick just about anymore. Uh, what has ammo? M16. Actually, no, it doesn't. Or 
Or maybe this is just her, just a paycheck. Yeah, the, 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 there's a lot of things like that. Oh shit. I'm getting, the, the weapon system is confusing, Zona. Uh, give me the M16, please. Yeah, there's always, whenever you, uh, there's been times where I've watched anime before, and they're like, when they have an English speaker, like they hired from someplace, and she's like, literally someone I think they pulled off the street. Or it might have been someone's relative, too. That was pretty common. Like, are you American? Yes. You'll be in game. I think we maybe can take out the tank now. Not that I have any explosives. Hmm. Massive failure of everyone in Metal Wolf Chaos is not in the internet movie firearms database. I want to know the backstory of this game and how what this guy's policies were that got him elected. Was it just nothing but giant robots? Uh, I think I have a lot of ammo for is my revolver. This gun is. You're not even aiming at me. Considering the political landscape of America, it's possible that the guns got him elected. He doesn't seem like he's a Republican. Seems like the dive kick isn't doing as much damage anymore. Can I even die in this game? What is my energy? Said he wanted to make America great again. That, that is really all it takes, isn't it? He seems like he has a force of personality, though. So maybe that's what it took. He's like a modern-day Obama. This is gonna have a really just chipping away at boss fight, though, because I had to use up all my rockets earlier. Sounds like cronyism. It's like a relative of yours, isn't it? Sleep tight. Who's going ever going to bed? You have a good night. Imagine looking out your window and seeing this. not over the amounts of praising she gives to the president it seems something might be going on with her opponent yeah that she's just like a yes man maybe like oh you're such a smart president you're such a good president i know you're fighting a tank right now but there's a great towing company in town you should check them out <laughs> man she's just she's looking out for her like the the president's you know, donors yeah it's her task to remember all of them what's up ts how you doing
I destroy a tank with dive kicks. The enemy forces in San Francisco have been annihilated. Along with half the city. Nice work, Mr. President. Sure. All in a day's work, huh, Mr. President? Nope. We've only you know, I think I would hire Jody. She seems like a positive, you know, creates a positive work environment. Continue. As long as the America inside my heart is still alive. Oh, there's no better game to play on 4th of July, chat. My heart swells with patriotic fervor. Well, I my report card ain't looking good, besides KO points. Mm. Need a new weapon. Even the citizenry has increased your economy rating and sent my their economy rating. Oh, he, you know, he blew up all those tanks and destroyed a building. But you know, I really like what he's doing. You know, with the, the with taxes. What? Even the sign doesn't increase your technology rating in San Francisco to five. Talk rebuke of cannon fire echoed across San Francisco as President Wilson commenced his counteroffensive against the vice president's regime. Liberation of the city struck a chord in the hearts of a small band of patriots whose alabaster soul still believed in the freedom that Richard Hawk had stripped away. A movement had been born and it wanted Hawk to get the hell out of Dodge. The wings of justice were spreading like an eagle and getting ready to soar. Mr. President, the information management department received an email that might interest you. An email? Actually, it's a sound file. Play it for me. So, so angry. Yes, boss. We're seeking volunteers to oppose the Kumadaw forces. Why did that? Why was that we separated into its own line that I had to click on to make it go next? That was a bit odd. Try and contact the person who sent the email. Sure, of course, boss. Maybe America's faith in freedom hasn't faded just yet. Who can deny that smile? And Jody, I'm taking back our country going from west to east. But you, why did you why didn't you go from east to west since that's where you started? Go west. I mean east, young man. Huh? Mr. President, we got a message from the Information Management Department. Some dip hit himself outside of a fire department? Hmm, or outside of your apartment? No. Oh. oh, just lit himself. Yeah, that'll happen. The coup d'etat forces are making an announcement on national television. Uh, Jody, could you put on my, uh, my smooth jazz soundtrack, please? I'm feeling a bit stressed. Connect me. Dear fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the government. This game was like recorded only in, Amer in the English. Would the Japanese playing this game originally even got half of this? Daily benevolence. Today, we bring you a most unfortunate bulletin. Last evening, the city of San Francisco suffered extensive damage at the hand of Metal Wolf, who suddenly appeared. In addition to slaughtering unresisting citizens, this heinous terrorist took citizens hostage and made an unjust demand for the release of violent criminals and the sum of $500 million. This vicious act could easily be the worst in U.S. history. Here's some mountains and oceans. Feel calm, citizen. Metal yeah, the, the Golden Gate Bridge survived for once. Satan himself. <laughs> and we will not permit him to get away with acts like this. We Americans will never yield to such evil. We Americans will obtain our own justice. Although martial law continues, 
my fellow Americans, please bear with our situation. To defend this lovable nation, let's lead the brave fight together. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, where our motto, justice over theory, is your motto. Hmm. Making you desire Robocop. It does have that little bit of that in it with those yield news reports. How about seeking exile or asking for help from other nations? Yeah, well, the asking for help from other nations thing is actually pretty smart. No. Of course. NATO, what's that? I'm the president. I can't be the one to start a war in this country. I'll be the one to wage the war. Huh? I can't start a war here. I have to wage one. Mr. President. Hey, Jody, update me on the situation in the West. Oh. What we got? Alcatraz. Uh, Beverly Hills, destroy all bomb containers. And destroy the Alcatraz cannon. You know what? Well, let's go destroy the Alcatraz cannon. What are the other two, though? Yeah, though. Phoenix, Arizona, destroy all target areas. And Grand Canyon, destroy... Uh, the mission objectives are kind of lame. Just destroy some shit. Electromagnetic Alcatraz cannon to combat terrorism. Very specific, only to your know, possible attacks on San Francisco, though. Blow up Phoenix. All the shelling in the desert region has implanted fear into the hearts of the people on the west coast. The shelling is directed at keeping the dissidents in check. By destroying the energy tanks around the Alcatraz cannon, you can stop its operation. The current is so strong that no one has ever escaped from Alcatraz. Please be careful not to fall in the ocean. Aim to destroy the Alcatraz cannon. Hmm. Looks like you might miss this Alcatraz cannon. You're hyping up. Well, the game is hyping it up. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. This mission goes by the call name. Smash the island prison. She comes up with these herself, doesn't she? Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. Uh -huh. The Rock. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. I got a new weapon, they said, so. Uh, oh, MP7. Anything else? Didn't I like. Maybe I can like develop a railgun now. Just develop my railgun. All around the world, Catalan. Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? You, we're still in California. Why not? All right. Uh, investment. Grenade launchers, missile. Yeah, we'll develop a new missile launcher. Mm, M4A1. A1 is now available for deployment. Womack, why am I not surprised, you piece of shit? What? Irony of California being the bastion of American freedom, you think, you think so? So we got ourselves one of the. Develop this weapon. Uh. I now have a missile launcher. Oh, I got one of those. What the hell is multi-missile launcher? Yeah, give me that. Flamethrower. We need to advance research in the category. Alright. We shall make a flamethrower too. Alright, now we can actually equip some shit. 
Right. Uh, we don't really need this crappy bazooka anymore. Place it with that. Don't need two sniper rifles either. We'll get the multi missile launcher. Oh, wait, oh. do some guns require both slots? It feels like it do. Maybe I guess you could have both of them equipped at the same time. All right, then so we don't really need this. We'll equip our flamethrower instead. Actually, no, fuck. Okay, never mind. You gotta have railgun there on both slots. All right, you know, that's, a, that's a big docker, right? Do I watch a lot of John Wayne movies? No, I've never seen a single John Wayne movie. I'd never really cared much for westerns when I didn't see them on. But I never watched them. Don't bring a flamethrower to California? Mm, no, it seems like a super weapon right now. What if America doesn't like getting reminded of how old it is, but we're like, woo America. I don't think any nation really cares about that. Most of them get prouder the longer something goes on. Enemy forces occupy Alcatraz Island. Jody, what is that daunting thing? The Alcatraz Cannon. How original. Richard, you'd never make it on Madison Avenue. Stop and surrender, Metal Wolf. Surrender? If you fail to comply, the Alcatraz Cannon will zap you back with a coach. Will it now? Not if I zap it first. Chat, I think all of us could probably write this script. Mr. President, the Alcatraz Cannon just I mean, it to doesn't recharge. seem like it would hit me. It's I'm like, I've got a limited range of work in aim. Florida recount. Ah, Florida recount jokes. A gun battery that big. Oh shit, this is a time mission. Recharge. Until then, head for the Alcatraz cannon in the center of the island. Is that this is DNN's Peter McDonald reporting. That's the heinous terrorist Metal Wolf, as seen from you're the back. Air. If shut, if shoot only remembers. Are you, okay, you're, are you like drunk typing on purpose, or you just ca DNN can't really move? Exclusively as but uh, okay. Unfold. Glad you're all right. Forget him and keep your mind on the mission, huh. Mr. President. Mr. President, that device also seems to supply energy to the Alcatraz cannon. You should destroy it in order to decrease the energy recharge supply. Your hands are inaccurate, huh? I've never been you know, that drunk before that you'll know, type even typing typing ends up sounding slur. But then again, I've never been drunk either. Get a, you know, big DACA. Oh shit, I don't think I brought any, like, small arms. Oh, that'll have to do. Uh, how do I get over this? I've never been drunk in my life? No. I've been buzzed, but I've just never been a drinker. I had a lot of reason why I didn't want to ever start drinking, because I just, you know, had a lot of people in my family destroyed. So I was always, like, turned off by the idea. Uh, I, I, problem, I don't, can't get through the door. And my mech is in a with a double jump. I'm also stuck in the wall now. Maybe I can fly around it and I just being stupid.
Oh, that's why I did it. I was being stupid. Hostage lost. Oh no. Carrying on. Hey, look at that, Josh. Thank you for the sub. Shut up, woman. I'm working here. I know you're very positive, but I got other things to do. I need a different you know, gun. No, not a flame door. Can't tell what a gun is anymore. They all look gigormous. There we go. That's a big docker. Is this a Metal Gear? It might as well be. I mean, the president in Metal Gear Solid did ride, you know, ride in one for a while. And we are the president, but no, this is a Metal Wolf. It's different than a Metal Gear, you see. Oh shit, that's an MMO already. You know what? They're fine. They died for their country. What are we playing this on? This on Steam. So PC. How do I get in there to it, though? Can't climb ladders. I'm a big robot. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know how to get in there because it's a little confusing. Unless there was like a path over there that I didn't see on the other side. Probably was. I, and I'm definitely not you know, winning in time now. Oh, uh, there was. I see it now. I'm supposed to have gone down. Failure was worth it for that line. This seems super American. That is the entire premise of this game. To be as American and g weirdly American as possible. We'll try that again now that I know where to go. It, a gun battery that big should take five minutes to recharge. Until then, head for the Alcatraz cannon in the center of the island. It, forget him and keep your mind on the mission, Mr. President. Mr. President. Odd lady, I... Mr. Pr Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President.
Well, actually, you know, the flamethrower is really good at destroying armored buildings for some reason. I mean, that, that, that melts them. That doesn't get the hostages out? Well, I don't have... I don't have the hostages are in a lot of trouble. I didn't bring small arms with me. Imagine Obama in a mech suit. You know what? He could, you know, I could see him, like, flying an EVA. Oh, too late. You have an SMG? Yeah, but I didn't think of it in time. I tried to do that. It was, like, one of the time ones, too. Oh shit, I actually died. I didn't know that could happen since I got blasted so much before. Try that again, Mr. President. Flamethrower is the best weapon I've found in the game now. But you can like supercharge the railgun now, I'm finding out too. Where's my SMG? Alright, now I'm now I'm now I'm warning. He was forced to perform to entertain the troops. I want someone to go to give a big old nani. Oh, who's shooting me? This thing, you, you're shooting me, huh? Why am I dying all of a sudden? It's a, it's a minefield? Oh, I didn't realize that. Whoever gifted you a sub? It's hard to tell. There's usually a bunch of gift subs dropped every night. But uh, there's a lot of generous people who watch this channel. Alright, now I know there's a little you know, thing there. I should boost across it. So you think they only made one of these, and like we had the only one? Well, there's a, there, the vice president has one too, but oh, the flamethrower actually saves them somehow from that. Not sure how, but yeah, why not? Flamethrower can like break people out of a cage. Whoa! Fucking dive kick got me killed. Shortest level in the game, probably. And I'm flubbing it left and right. To recharge. Until then, head for the Alcatraz Cannon in the center of the island. Is that? Forget him and keep your mind on the mission, Mr. President. What do you think this lady is doing now who voices this character? Do you think she like is on like uh on what, what's that website? Uh, cameo. Hey, yo, Judy. I want you to say, Mr. President, something along those lines. Hmm. A musician was among the POWs you rescued. He was forced to perform to entertain the troops. How's the heat treating you? Uh, it wasn't too bad today. It was not exactly pleasant, but 
my air conditioner is managing you know keep it you know keep everything you know relatively well you know cool oh I saved them this time there's like a, a landmine here because I keep dying in this area for some reason I need like weapons that shoot that fucker down uh This thing even is, but we'll use it. Oh yeah, the multi missile launch. Oh fucking landmines. Door. Turns out this wasn't the only Jody she boy. She was also Jody Summer in F Zero GX. Is that that's the only role she plays if the character is named Jody? You know, I respect that. I think we got it this time. She just wants to kill the news guy now. She better be the final boss. Well, not that we'll probably end up beating this game, but I like to think so. It was me all along, Mr. President. I didn't get the raise or something along those lines. Her name is Julia Yermenkov. Very American. Hey, any, it doesn't matter what your last name sounds like, you can become American. I feel like I'm destroying like structures in an RTS game, but only I'm not you know, looking at this from an overhead perspective. Is that what anyone else is getting from this? Like I'm like a unit someone sent into like an R uh, badly, a, a poor RTS player is sent in and destroy everything at someone's base. <coughs> Where's my voice going? Like this is the worst StarCraft player ever. None of the roles are named Julia. No, I'm reading the same thing again. Sorry, the hostages look like enemies sometimes. Like your method of just strafing around the doors? Isn't that how I get through them? I mean, I didn't see another way past it. Heavy arms in. Alright, so. Destroy that cannon. Thinking like a president. Can you shoot the news chopper? I think that's a bad thing to do that. Wait, is this the beginning of the level? The fuck? How do you get to the goddamn cannon then? Alright. Get back there quick then. Well, this is some interesting level design they got going on. Can't see. All the 
Yeah, I can't get through the damn gate. Unless I needed to shoot the goddamn cannon, I don't know. The army has been completely vaporized. Metal Wolf, your cruelty won't go unpunished. And Chad doesn't seem to know either, so I think we're all just being dumb right now. The door for this gate doesn't open to let me in, so I don't know. Mr. President, the no, you know, time for a different mission. How about that? Hello, Mr. Time. Game Sins, man. I haven't seen your streams in a while. Where have you been, Point Man? Uh, what, what was your last stream? You shoot, I'll hold it against you forever. This guy sounds like what uh, uh, Otacon would sound like if he became a reporter instead of your uh, robot designer. Mission slow. We'll go to a different mission. That one kind of blows. You know what? Let's go to Beverly Hills. The enemy force is strengthening their suppression of Beverly Hills. This is due to information that leaked out regarding some millionaires who are amassing capital to fund a resistance. Really now? Months ago, well, what brought you back? You're just like, you know what? Got nothing else to do on 4th of July. Come check what this dumbass is doing. While the number of soldiers equipped with heavy firearms is great, if you pay higher attention to their attacks, they're no threat to your mobile armor. The verticals in this battle theater are violent. Consider the advantages and disadvantages in the geographical features as you destroy all the target areas in the town. Yeah, this game would have been a lot better if they had better mission objectives, I think. This mission it's mainly just here really a spectacle and the weird-ass cutscenes. Bring fashion back to the streets. Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. Just watching before Ben on. Well, make sure you have a good night's sleep on me. But hopefully I'll see you back here next time I stream too. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything other than maybe I got too many powerful weapons on me. I don't think I need quite that much. Uh, we'll get rid of the rail gun, I think. Oh uh, no, we'll get rid of the heavy missile launcher. And we'll get our sniper rifle. No, we got sniper rifle. We've got to take up two spots. Alright, shotgun. There we go. Did that guy scream yell when the cannon fired killing thousands? I believe he did. That was meant to be a scream of horror, though. Devices are planted all over the city of Beverly Hills. Destroy all the bombs and liberate the town. Roger that. This is DNN's Peter McDonald reporting. What you're looking at is the heinous terrorist Metal Wolf as seen from the air. Just what will become of Beverly Hills and its stately mansions where the streets smell of money? Stay tuned as this camera and I bring you all the news you want to know. A news heli? Forget it. I'm going on ahead. It's a bit annoying, but not enough to call for aspirin. Yeah, this would have been a lot better with an anime, too. The Not the bombs. The oh, shit. I already got civvies in the way. Some scientists were among the but, uh, that the guy that voices Sonic? Uh, you mean the Chris Redfield guy? No. Ain't him. This game does have Sonic Adventures too. Well, we did just do a level in San Francisco. But also, the, you know, Sonic Adventures is also known for really shitty voice acting. I hope there's a, like, a way you can like level up the dive kick. You don't really need much more than it. Oh, Lord. The National Guard troops have been defeated. Oh Metal shit, that's the National Guard? The troops and plans to capture Beverly Hills. Damn, they're just like weekend warriors, my man. This 
could be the world. Mr. President, that's a bomb. If approached carelessly, it will detonate. Destroy it from a safe distance. Oh yeah, that's how you take care of bombs. Shoot it from a distance, sir, so you don't get caught up with the explosion. Right, let me use a better weapon. Door. Railgun the explosives away, Mr. President. Perfect. Well done, Mr. President. You've taken care of the bomb. Game is giving you so much nostalgia for back in the day when you played Sonic Ad Adventure 2. I never played the only Sonic games I played were the 2D ones. I the few times I tried to play a 3D one is like mm -mm, not for me. I did think I I think I played a demo of Sonic Adventure 2 at like a, a hit, like a like a big retail chain that had a demo station set up, and that was it. It's like mm, this is not yeah. This one is going to get my original Xbox oh, with like my first paycheck. The pride of the U.S. military. Blackhawks raise their ugly heads. Also killed four hostages, it seems. Yeah, I, I thought I didn't know the bomb would actually blow up. I thought it would like dis safely disarm the bomb. Didn't mean blow it up in the middle of the city. I thought it would just be something stupid, so it like it destroyed the bomb without blowing it up. But no, nope, seems like that's not how it is. It's like you you save yourself, but not anyone around it. Uh, we can line up a perfect three. Oh uh, well, we could have, but I. Ooh. Oh, did I just walk into a bomb? Pretty sure that was a hit, but I guess uh, it didn't count. Sonic Adventures 1 is the only 3D Sonic game. Isn't that like got like a really infamous set of levels where you like have to catch frogs? It's always amazed me that despite the quality of, you know, Sonic games, 3D Sonic games, it's managed to retain its fan base too. It's like, really? H have you seen what you've been playing? You know, I don't think the, the new media even has to work too hard to like portray this as evil when we're like really just killing soldiers. Bomb. Never played those levels. Oh, uh, this. The, oh, mm. so you didn't play, play truly beat the game then. Oh shit! That was a hostage. Uh, fuck. Oh well. Now those soldiers don't seem like they're putting up much of a fight. Let's try to save some of them. You're a monster. Yeah, I'm trying my best, all right? It's hard being a president. Why do you think they always go gray so early? Problem is, I can't really recognize what these weapons are sometimes. Flamethrower versus tank. Flamethrower destroys everything in front of it. Yeah, they're jamming my radar. Do your best, I will. I mean, the best president ever. You think I'm going to get a second turn? What would your re-election campaign even be at this point? I'm not using live ammunition, I'm using fire. I honestly wonder if the flamethrower is bugged and it just does more damage than it's supposed to. Oh shit, that's a bomb. Pretty 
Turns out the From Software did another game with a connection to this. Michael Wilson Jr. What game is that? The only other games I've known they've done besides the King's Quest and all their stuff that Moe did most recently is that those Otogi games, which are like kind of like action spectacle games. I think they did Otogi, didn't they? And that VR game they did recently too. Alright, watch next. Hmm, those are red fireworks are scary. Back up, back up, back up, but it's in reverse terror. Huh? Sure. I'll, I'll take that. Whatever the hell that means. It's in a post? I mean, you could also just say the name here. I swear you'll be fine. Oh. And Ninja Blade was referred to as Otogi 3 before the game was announced. I know, I just know that it was Otogi. Never knew it as anything else. I'm guessing it's one of those games that have different names and places. Oh shit, did you destroy my... Oh, I'm just gonna dive kick you. you know, uh, weirdly, thinking of giant robot games that were really weird, there was one... Uh, there was one on PS2 that I remember playing that was like the most bizarre thing. Is like, uh, hold on a second. I don't think it ever got a US release, but it was also at really shitty voice acting. And uh, basically, you uh, played two characters. You played like an anime, you know, human being that runs around a giant city. And you also used like, you also controlled a gigantic, like, city uh, skyscraper sized robot from that person's perspective, so the idea with the game was you had to like move your human character around the map to a vantage point where you could like see what you're doing to control your giant robot as it fights like a big kaiju uh, thing. I cannot remember the name of her life of me, but I remember it was pretty damn awesome. Though janky as fuck, but it was a cool idea. Maybe he's going to take out a loan. Oh man, he's destroying the mansion. Add destruction of personal property to the breaking and entering charges. He's destroying rich people's homes. Evil. Called Ninja Blade everywhere, but they wanted people to know there was a successor to Otogi. Oh, so. So, okay, uh, that was a sequel to it, you mean? Ow. Ow. I'm almost out of railgun shots. Alright. Missile launcher then. Did I, bring, I didn't bring my missile launcher with me, did I? Grenade launcher will do. Maybe I should like get a. <clears throat> well, I wonder how difficult it is to get a copy of Otogi. And I don't think it's gonna be It's gonna be playable on Xbox 360 either. But maybe, or at least not. No, well, no, not the Xbox One definitely. I'm like rambling right now, so don't, no, pay no attention to the, the stupid streamer. That's you in 28 if you live in Japan. I just remember I liked Otogi from what little I played of it. They had like a very interesting concept. Come on, blow up already. Jesus. Does everything have to be this damn tanky? Alright, get out of there before I blow the bomb up, people. Game you're thinking is Robot Alchemic Drive. Oh, thank you for finding that. I mean, I don't think it was ever released in, outside of Japan, but it was definitely made for a fun, you know, fun game when I played of it. I played the hell of the demo, that's for sure. 
You know, they've made these bombs incredibly, you know, <laughs> uh, dense. I'm shooting the bomb with other bombs and it ain't even going off. I'm sure it'd be a game that would be really annoying to play for a while, but the demo was fun. I just remember it mainly because I'm really... Some of the most atrocious, you know, uh, voice acting. Because I don't think they've hired English voice actors. They just got some Japanese lady to, like, say the news anchor's line. In the best English you can manage. And it was, like, uh, the most stereotypical thing you can think of. Miss PS Window. I'm glad the demos have finally started coming back, though. Though still mainly for indie games. If it's a AAA game, it gets a beta. You you remember uh, you remember seeing it? Oh. Another military position has been destroyed. My fellow Americans, support our troops with all your hearts. Don't worry about his yammering commentary. All right, how much is left of this level? I like to finish this one and then maybe call it a night. Uh, seriously, as fun as you know, as odd as the game is, it's not really something I I can honestly say I enjoy playing. The gameplay is actually just kind of like, mm, eh, just destroy some shit. Had enough America. I've I've been still. It's been a you know, a massive celebration of America all night. But you can help. You can you know, use up all your America. You know. What do you need, Dex? You ain't getting food. You've been fed. It's too late. What other Murica games are there, though? Maybe we can make a tradition of playing this on 4th of July. No, 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 what this game needs, chat. It needs uh, like, yo, that guy with the glasses, like an Evangelion. He's like, get in the fucking robot, Mr. President. Now that's how you make it even better. Turn the president into a Shinji. Wait, but... I don't know if I can pilot it. Get in the fucking robot, Mr. Obama. Call of Duty is... Uh, Call of Duty is... You know, some, I don't know. That's not what I consider America. That's the old... Mm, I don't know. I don't even want to consider that. I guess you can sort of say it's America. I'm, I'm dying. Blow up. I think you're like the last objective. I can, I can see why you from software sort of went to like making swords and sorcery games. Or, or like the old melee combat and focus. I don't know if they're that good in the doing third person shooting. Oh, I just destroyed myself because I was too close to the bomb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's too exhausting to try again. Chat, I think we might be done. I think we've we've you definitely got all the America out of our system for one night. This game is exhausting to play, by the way. Circle strafing for life. Yeah, it's definitely old school. Even though they did touch it up. Where's my voice going? I need something to drink. <clears throat> so, chat. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my voice back. There's a game I remember watching about where you play as a Navy SEAL and you beat Osama Bin Laden. And I remember seeing a review of that. I forget the name of it. It's a really shit game, but it's very bizarre. But yeah, you just punch Obama and Osama in the face. Thanks for today's wonderful humble thing. You're most welcome for being here. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed themselves. Uh, I probably won't be streaming the next few nights, maybe, because I will be starting the work. 
Well, there's a possibility I might stream tomorrow. It really depends if I get all my lines recorded or not. But if I do, I might try to throw in a stream, but my voice isn't too worn out. But after that, I start editing the Ratchet and Clank video together, and I usually, you know, get too worn out doing that all day to stream, so we'll see. However, I'll be streaming again as soon as I can, no matter what. And hopefully I give you guys a good video very soon. <clears throat> but, uh, also, happy 4th of July while we still, while it still is still 4th of July for a few more minutes. And thank you all for being here. Hope you had a good one. Uh, thank you for uh, subs or gift subs tonight as well. Any bits is too. Uh, thank you to the mods. I'm, I'm doing a bomba thing where he goes, uh, all the time. Also, Ryan, thank you. Uh, thank you for being a first time chatter or a viewer or chatter, both, maybe both. Later, you have a, everyone have a good night. Thanks for being so damn chill. Uh, I am tired. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling now because I don't know what to say other than like, you know, goodbye and kick everyone else out of my house. So, yeah, we're done. Uh, thanks for being here. Hopefully that sated your, you know, American bloodlust for one night stream over. Yeah. That, it's a fun game to maybe watch someone play, but my God, that game is exhausting and how old it is. It's like, go destroy everything on our map, Mr. President. It's almost Dynasty Warriors like. And I've never been a fan of that. So maybe just watch the cutscenes of that game. You'll get the same thrill out of it. Both you and your friend love everything wrong with vids. Oh, I'll give your friend my love and I will have another one out for you very soon. Hopefully you enjoy that one. So, chat, you guys have a great night. Enjoy the... Oh, I sound like I'm high right now. <laughs> that sounds wrong with me. Yeah, stay safe. Have a great day at work, school, whatever you have planned for tomorrow. And I'll see you when I stream next time. Why did you voice in Ratchet and Clank? I'm not sure what you mean, uh, but... I didn't voice act anything in Ratchet and Clank, and that's what you're acting. I don't think that's what you're asking, but I didn't do any voices in it. Uh, but I will be doing a video on it. But you guys have a good one. Later, everyone. <sighs> Happy 4th of July! <laughs>